Hello there everyone, what's going on? This is Jigsaw Killer here. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to beat The Evil Within 2 on a uh, classic mode. You guys have been, you know, asked me for this video for a long time, so it's finally here. Uh, so, currently, currently I'm playing on the PC version here, 60 FPS, as you can see at the top right there. Uh, but, you know, for this guide, it really does not matter uh, what platform you're playing on. If you're playing on PS4, Xbox One, it doesn't matter what FPS. Um, you know, it won't change anything. So, as you all know, there's not really much no, that goes on in the first chapter here. We're just going to be running here. Um, so this part's pretty straightforward. So, so while all this, while all this is happening, I'll just explain what's you know, the basics of this guide oh God, and Lily. how we're going to make it easy for you guys, basically. So, in this guide, I'll be showing you guys where I'm going to save and where I think the best best spots would be for you to save. Um, for this guide, I'm actually gonna, only going to be saving six times. So, if you guys want to make oh God, an extra save serious. somewhere, that's that's totally fine as well. Uh... But yeah, I'll also be showing you guys certain oh, keys that I get. I don't get all the keys, of course, because there's too many. There's like 32 keys in the game or something. So we're only we're only we're only going to be getting like a ham a handful of them. I think we only get about 10 keys, I'm maybe. I've no idea how many we got, but we did get a good few in anyway. Uh, other than that, mostly it's just going to be collecting, you know, here, Lily. an obscene amount of gunpowder, so you never run out of ammo and so on. You know, I'll be getting like the rifle in chapter three. Really? You know, just just little up. things like that. And obviously, I'll be showing you guys easy way of getting Good. parts that seem yeah. very like intimidating Great. or difficult for classic mode. Where are we? So, this part here is unskippable. You can't skip this, so this is the almighty which is nice. We get we get, we get to look at Kidman. So, this is a win-win situation. So, so yeah, um, our first save will not be until chapter 4. <laughs> At least that probably sounds crazy, you attacked. know. First save, we're going to be doing all of the chapter 3 and all we're saving. Where's Lily? And you're probably like, but Jigs, that's like scary all what you're doing. Right so don't worry, I got your back. You guys are watching the guide here, so... Do not worry, you won't have any problems with chapter 3. I'll make it really, really simple for you guys. Setback. But so, we the knowledge game so yeah, we're just waiting for the game to hurry up so we can progress. So the first, like, um, what? first, like, you know, kind of scary part would be when we run into Stefano coming up, and we're in the room where he stabs the guy, and then he, you know, he takes a, a photo of him or whatever. Literally, all you gotta do for that part is just crouch through it, which I'll show you guys um, once we get there. So this, so this right here is a is you know Sebastian when he just got into the stem, and he's like witnessing all these like flashbacks and all that. These are sort of like you know you, you can kind of speed this part up if you run, but not at the start of it. Um, it does not matter if you move here at the start, or but once Moira starts talking. You need to move then, you need to be sprinting, or the part won't happen as quickly. I know it's hard so, to accept Myra. So basically I'm sprinting here, and I'm kind of like a bit turning a bit left here, I think. Yeah, I'm turning a bit left here, because slightly to the left is where the, the part where we see Beacon here will happen. The whole like flashback with Beacon here, and that's gonna quicken up this part. Yeah, we're just waiting for this part to go by. You know, it's it's nice of the game to give us infinite stamina here, but nowhere else. Like, you know, why not give us infinite stamina when it matters? Yeah, we're just gonna answer this call. This is gonna bring us into the to our you know our safe haven, whatever you want to call it, what our room. Yeah, we're just gonna hold circle at this point to skip the phone call with Kidman. And then Hello? we're gonna go over to the picture here. Oh, you need to interact with that to progress the game. The game will not let you go to the mirror here or 
the mirror will not activate unless you click on that. Cat. So you want to click on that, hold circle to skip the phone call again. Just and then like you just want to run down to here. Should be then at this point, you just want to spam X or A, or whatever you're using. And this is going to activate go, the, yeah. the next se segment for us here. Into the looking glass. Now, we'll be uh, getting to these parts where Stefano... Part of it is pretty just straightforward, it's just a lot of running. Another cutscene to skip here. So yeah, just like the first game, um, some of the cutscenes in this game you need to, you know, press B or circle, you know, as it pops up. But some cutscenes you can, you know, you can pre-press circle before the cutscene even pops up and you'll skip it automatically. Is this the right place? So there is certain cutscenes in this game that, that won't do that. Here we're just um, running up here. We get a we get a roll here. We're gonna see a picture of a door, and when you get close to the picture, it's you know that door's gonna pop up here. Here we go. And I was a dumbass here. I let my stamina fully drain. So now Sebastian's like, oh, I'm having a stroke. Oh, oh, tough day at the office. Hey, um, some uh, unskippable parts here. You can't like skip through this. You gotta just sit through them. What like these aren't that long, hell? so it's fine. I really, really do prefer this way more than the Force Games intro. You know, with this intro, That's at least we're moving, we're controlling our own stamina, and we're actually Maker. like you know that can actually affect our time if you're doing a you know you're trying to do a speed run or whatever. Someone tried to block. Whereas the force game, you're just limping. You're in. It's just all in. scripted and all that. Like, th like these force parts are scripted as well. But it's really, really not as bad as the force game. So here we are. We're just sprinting here. Gonna run onto a stairs. Also, the second you see this area, it just reminds you of uh, Resident Evil. You know, when you when you go to one of the the save rooms in like the west of the mansion in Resident Evil One. That's what that part reminds me of. Definitely a, definitely a Sinjo Mikami thing. So coming up here is a uh, Stefano. So as I said before, I'm gonna stab a guy, and then you know we're gonna have to go around them. And literally all you gotta do is just go to the left and crouch the whole time, and you, you won't see it at all. Like, you don't even need to stop. Um, one thing I wouldn't recommend you, you guys do is kick open the door when you're leaving, because he can actually hear that. And he can actually kill you. So, that's something, you know, because it's classic, I would not take any risks when it com comes to that. So, yeah, we're just going to crouch here the whole time. One thing you can do is you can use the cover system. So, if you press circle, you know, and have the, the camera angle kind of pointed up a little bit, you can uh, use that to make Sebastian look better. Out of here. So another thing I'm doing here, you'll notice, I'm spamming circle here as I'm running. And basically what that does is it stops your stamina from draining as you're sprinting. So it's, just, it's actually really easy to do. Anyone can do it. It doesn't require any practice or anything. You're basically just sprinting and spamming circle. And kind of using the analog stick to, you know, to uh, back yourself off the wall so you don't fully stick to it. Because you want to get as much uh, speed as possible. So you can kind of see I kind of got stuck there. Here, I'm going to this elevator here. I'm going to wait for it to open and then click on the, the switch. So coming up to be a bunch of like hanging bodies, and then we gotta, you know, just sprint up to the, you know, to the other side of it, and then it'll trigger, it'll trigger a part where the bodies will be more like in line or whatever, and then you gotta go, you gotta run back basically, and then turn around again, and then a door will spawn. And that's basically the quickest way to do this part. So running up here, you'll hear a sound. That's when you want to turn around. I hear that sound again. There's the door. 
There's Stefano. No, Stefano. I can't wait to kill you later on. Shit. Appreciate the art. Hey. So here comes the the guardian. AKA the laughing lady. The forehead lady. What the hell? Oh, he said it. He said the line. What the hell? So here you just you just wanna run past her, she can't kill you at this point. Like, don't worry about her attacking you here. Dude, like for you to get hit there, you literally just need to let go of your controller and stop sprinting. As long as you're sprinting, you'll never die here. It's impossible. The only reason I can see you dying here is like let's say you need to sneeze or something. And like you're like, oh no, I see it, so you know, I won't, you know, I kind of let go of the controller or whatever. Shit, I'm trapped in here. If that's a thing. I don't know. Not. Anyway, so now we just want to climb up here. The yeah, funny thing is, the guardian will never break through that door unless you climb up there. Like I've stood in that room for like a minute before, and she never goes into the room. I wish she did that. You know, little details. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? And another thing in the Evil Thing games, they really like torturing rats. Like if you look at the first game, a bunch of rats get squished and all that. And in this game, like rats are just getting destroyed as well. I might have to call PETA eventually. Just just report Tango Games work. You know, for torturing rats and so on. Here's uh, Sebastian's gonna have it, another, you know, naive lion here. Oh, I don't hear it. Man, you hear that in like nearly like any horror game or horror movie. Oh, you know, the protagonist or one of the main characters think they're safe. But not even close. Here's Stefano's gonna uh, stab you here. Thanks, Stefano. He's actually helping us out here, let's be honest. Like, what would have happened, you know, if he didn't give us the knife? We'd be knifeless then. They just want to spam A or X here. They're probably wondering, why is there Xbox prompt when I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller with PC? Well, like, unless the PC game specifically uh, supports the PlayStation 4 controller, it'll automatically show the Xbox controls what rather the than the PS4 controls. So that's why that happens. So here, you're just gonna sprint here, and there's gonna be a syringe in here, so make sure to pick up that before you leave. You're gonna go here, and you're gonna go to the front door, and we're gonna get a handgun here. Yeah, there's another forced, unskippable scene here. Yeah, at this point I'm just spamming circle, because that'll skip Sebastian looking the at the right photo place. here. You know, to just get out of it as simply as possible. And basically you're not going to move here. Make sure you don't move when Sebastian goes out of this, because you want your health to regen. So, what did I get myself so I'm just going to stand here. Once you see your health regen, just move forward then. Kidman. But don't sprint, you know, because that'll stop you. Your, that'll stop your uh, your health regening. But once you do that, put your handgun in your quick inventory. Go up there, grab that herb. And now we're just gonna sprint down to the the first uh, house coming up. Make sure you heal here as well. So yeah, but this house here. You're literally just gonna sprint out, and that's it. You don't, don't need to fight the enemies here. There's no point. This is just a small, quiet town. Uh, now, when we're leaving the house, it's gonna be yeah. like one of those lost, uh, blocking our way, and it looks like he's gonna hit you, but he never does. I've never been hit by him when I just sprint out, so don't worry about him hitting you. Oh God! Here, I'm just gonna sprint out, keep the door open, go by him. There you go. Easy peasy. Here we're gonna open uh, these boxes here. I mean, hanging them on here. 
There's gonna be six gunpowder gun powder here. Come on. Yeah, I tried to open that box because I couldn't remember if there was anything actually in it. But I don't think there ever is anything in it. Well, I just wanted to check anyway. So now we're just running down to the union here. Um, we're gonna see O'Neill. He's gonna let one of us, you know, the Mobius guy just die on him so he can escape. What now? So this is like the first like tutorial part of the game, I guess. You know, the game wants you to learn like stealth here. So you're just gonna hold circle here to skip this cutscene. And once you get gameplay, you're just gonna let go of the car and just sprint. Or, you know, get out of cover. And just sprint for the, 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 the two herbs here. But those things are everywhere. Yeah, pick up these bottles as well. Make sure you get bottles, just in case you might need them later. The herbs are gonna wait. Sometimes the, you actually can't stealth kill this guy here, but sometimes he will get alerted and he'll see you. So to avoid that, I recommend you just wait, because he's gonna he's gonna turn right here and go to a certain uh, you know a certain route or whatever you want to say. So you're just gonna go here and you're just gonna stealth kill this guy. Okay. Grab the, uh, the bottle here. And then we're just gonna stealth kill the other guy and then get out of there. Now, there was another gunpowder on the car before us, but I don't think it's worth the get because you'd have to kill the other guy. Because if you smash that window, that, that attracts the other guy as well. So, I wouldn't recommend you do that. You, you don't need the gunpowder. Trust me when I say you will have a lot of gunpowder with this guy. You'll have way more than what you need. You know, this guy this is just to make it really easy for you guys, so you guys, you guys don't have trouble. We're in here now, right. and there's a health in the, uh, the bathroom here. Hold. Okay. So you're not- I'm looking- So you're just gonna- Yeah, I'm done. They can't- just gonna spam X slash A here. Detected some signals nearby skip all this. At the course frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that? I think so. No way. How do I? Your com Once you're out, you'll probably. It wouldn't. No way. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way. Yeah. Okay, so we have gameplay here. So we're gonna go to the. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pick these up and then we're gonna go into the workshop here because. In order to get the field crafting on your inventory, you need to click on the end uh, of workshop here. That's what we're doing here. That's why we get that there. And you're gonna see Tatiana here. They're uh, unskippable. Unskippable scene here. And we're just gonna leave. Who is that? And this is where we're gonna like scavenge and get all our loot here. Uh yeah, first we're gonna get the first we're gonna get some so here we're gonna get the axe and all that at the bodies. We're gonna pick up some pick up okay. some gunpowder. Let's see if I can find this signal he mentioned. It looks pretty far away. But it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. So yeah, skip this cutscene. If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. See, we're gonna run up here. There'll be an axe here at this body. You're gonna need. You're gonna need to, need this for later. We do add uh, the main quest. Yeah, get this here because there's gunpowder here. There's a bunch of that uh, gunpowder you can pick up. Yeah, I'm just picking up all the bottles possible here. They get this key here. No, more gunpowder on this as well. Honestly, you really don't need to get all this gunpowder. But if you guys want to have as much gunpowder as possible, I, I would say get that. But you really don't need to get them. This is just, you know, a precaution.
Yeah, we're just breaking these boxes. Let's see if we can get more gunpowder. Yeah, because it's classic, they completely remove, uh, you know, you know, because we can't upgrade, we can't upgrade both Sebastian and the weapons. So here I actually get seen here, uh, and it looks a bit rough, but like you won't, you won't be like at a position here where you're like nearly gonna die unless you're just while. standing there. Um, but if you want to avoid what happens to me here, I'd recommend you uh, you don't pick up the gunpowder we did, you know, in the trash bin uh, at the car, and just go here immediately, because, you know, it'll uh, pretty much prevent you from being seen here. And she's going to see me here. here we're gonna go up here to get the, uh, the sniper we do have a bit of a problem here well it's not like you know it's not gonna get us killed or anything so basically I'm coming here to get the, uh, the sniper but it's broken obviously you need to get the you need to get the other part of it to repair it or whatever but one thing I wasn't actually 100% sure on I didn't know if you needed to collect the thing from the guy's body here, so I didn't pick it up immediately. We're grabbing the sniper here. But then I was thinking, you know, wait, do I need to pick up the other thing from the guy's body? You probably don't. But I wanted to make 100% sure... Uh, you know, that, you know, if I didn't pick it up and then for some reason the game wouldn't let you get the, the sniper parts. I just wanted to pick that up, just to make sure. I've never been in a situation where I've never seen a situation or been in a situation where you know it went down and I was like oh wait you can't get it you need to inspect that guy's body which I assume you probably don't but yeah just a precaution but um yeah another thing you actually don't really need to get the sniper at this point um basically I'm getting it so we can use it for O'Neill and the the main O'Neill boss fight in like chapter 10 I think it is I can't remember what chapter it is but that's basically why I get the sniper there because if you don't pick up the sniper in chapter 3 you'll get it in chapter 13 before you do the, the firewalk segment and all that so here it's gonna come down on us and basically you're just gonna sprint here and you're just gonna spam A and you'll be able to just get an automatic stealth kill here now you just wanna scavenge the loot from here Feels nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna a bit more scavenging here. See, there's gonna be a herb we're gonna get here, and there's also gonna be shotgun ammo as well. So once you grab this shotgun ammo here, all the the lost here will wake up. So you wanna get out of there as soon as possible. Once you grab that shotgun ammo. grabbing all this so yeah one thing if you don't get exactly the loot that i'm getting which i'm yeah sure you will not get what i get here it won't change the run for you or make make you not be able to do stuff that i do you know so don't worry about if you don't get what i get it doesn't really it really does not matter so here i'm just like trying to get away from that guy because i want to get out of out of combat as soon as possible because when you're in combat, your stamina drains so much faster and it regenerates so much slower. So, like you can see the stamina draining there so fast when you're when I'm sprinting. When you get out of combat, you know, it's a lot faster. So, it regenerates a lot faster. So now we're going to go up here. And we're going to run into one of the, the white ladies here, which are called the 
I think they're called a hysterias or something. So it's gonna be one of those like cameras here that Stefano uses that like slow you down. And basically once you're once you have gameplay here you wanna retap the sprint button because the game will stop you sprinting because Sebastian got alerted there, you know. Like in this game when an enemy notices Sebastian he kinda like staggers for a second. So you whenever that happens you wanna remember to re you know to retap the uh, the sprint button because Sebastian will not sprint most likely straight away. So you don't have to worry about fighting her. She she won't be there to attack you unless you're just literally standing there. And now we're going up to the main quest. And you also probably notice we didn't get the shotgun yet because the shotgun you'll the game will actually give you the shotgun during the main quest coming up. But once we get the to the factory where Lily is hiding from Stefano or whatever, uh, we'll get the shotgun in there. So this makes this, you know, a lot faster. Yeah, another thing, another thing to know, we won't be doing any of the side quests in this game because there's no point. It's a, this gun is just specifically to beat classic mode, so. so. This is not like, you know, a collectibles guide or anything like that, side quests. This is just how to tackle classic modes. And I've said that like several times now. Lily! Hey. Are you here? It's dead. So let's go up here. Go? Lily. It's okay. It's me. So here you just gonna open the door here and then Damn it. Alright. Just gotta move down. this table here, which is blocking a hole to I get through. There? <laughs> Sebastian's all like, how do we get there? Well, maybe not the obvious hole that's right there in your in front of your face there, Sebastian. Maybe. Possibly maybe. Here you just wanna spam A to click on the doll. It's then doll. there's gonna be a cutscene to skip here, so hold circle. Here. So you skip it straight away. And now, oh my God, she's in trouble. So now we're just gonna sprint there. out of this and this check part around to back. go around the see back. That window comes out. You know to see what where Lily is going. There, I'm just gonna. Sp we're just spamming A here, just All to right, Lily. get that as quickly as possible. Where did you run off to? The one thing here, so once once this part is done here, usually you would run left there and run into into the fields, and it triggers a cutscene with the uh, the little demon dogs, whatever. That's that's what we're, that's what we're calling them. They're calling we're calling them the demon dogs. So you guys know what I'm talking about. But like the demon dogs. Uh, signal. Good. So usually if you go left, they'll spawn. But if you go if you go right here, they won't spawn. The cutscene doesn't pop up. Nor uh, do they, you know. Nor do they spawn here at all as well. That makes the part a lot easier. Yeah, I just noticed I didn't get the uh, the key here. I was actually kind of intending to get the key, but... It doesn't matter. Like, you could literally do this guy without, without getting any keys. Because, like, everything we're collecting here is, is like, you know, super safe. You have to make sure we don't die. So the keys are just, you know, an extra precaution to make sure we have everything that we need. Just in case we, you know, for whatever reason we take multiple hits or you know, we're taking a lot of damage or that kind of thing. Or we're using a lot of ammo. We need more. That's, the, that's what the key's purpose is for this game. So yeah, another thing um, I won't be doing is the, you know, the gallery modes, the shooting range. You can get like I think you can get two keys from them. I'm not, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get two keys from them. But yeah, we won't be doing that. There's no need for this. It's just to get through classic. So if you, if you guys want to do do them for the two extra keys, feel free. So 
in here. That gunpowder in here. But we're gonna go into this house here, and this is also the continuation of the, the main quest here. But we're just grabbing these items in here. Yeah, but the main quest here, we're gonna be doing a couple Let's of things. We need to self kill a couple of guys, you know, and then we need to turn on the power to go into the into the factory or whatever. And we'll be doing that in a very a very uh certain way, which makes it just simple. Now we're gonna go up here, we're gonna trigger a segment here. Blood. A few days old. Hope it's not Millie's. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Alright, so yeah, run back there because there's a herb. There's another herb here. But if you're quick enough, you'll be able to go into this garage here by the time it, this thing is popping up. Okay, we're just going in here to grab more items. One, th one thing that's really nice for this run is nails because they, you know, you'll be able to make explosive bolts with them, so. Yeah, we're sprinting here to grab the shotgun ammo. We're just getting out of there as quickly as possible because there's a bunch of lost there and you don't want them to see it. So here we're hopping over, we're coming to the oh, to the factory here. There's also a bunch of items here, so make sure you pick up these as well. Stuff here. So the first thing we're gonna do here. Uh there's one of the lost here. Nah, where I'm looking at right now, but right in front of me here. And we're gonna stealth kill this guy. Yeah, one thing that happens here, I actually fall off here, but you can literally just go up here as well if you do fall off. That guy's gonna turn to the right here, and you can just go up and stealth kill him. And next, we're gonna go into the, the part here with the lever to turn on the power. And there's two loss in here, and one of them have an axe, so. But basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna down here. And we're gonna use the axe to break the, the chain. And then you're gonna slowly open the door while crouched. Because you can uh, stealth kill one of them. And then you wanna spam or two. So you automatically will use the axe. One thing you wanna be aware about is sometimes it won't instant kill them. Most likely it will, but there's a chance. You know, it's RNG if the axe will one hit them or not. They, you, so basically, if you don't actually kill them with that. You want to uh, just shoot them. I think I think they'll die like like two shots later or something, two or three shots. So it doesn't it won't cause like a problem for you as long as you're ready to just shoot immediately. Then, but then you want to use that lever to open that cage so we can go straight to through it. And now there's one of these lost here. I'm just waiting for him to go back here. And we're just gonna go up and stealth kill him. You could just run up and uh. And just axe him, but that, you know, that'll make him roar at us. You know, it'll like roar or whatever. And that's just gonna cause it to, uh, most likely trigger the whole area and then all of them come for me. Now we're just moving this over here so we can climb over it. So, you know, we can get out of here without alerting the area. So now we're gonna go trigger the next part of the. The, the main quest here. A mission, whatever you want to say. You just want to spam A here. Oh, thank God. So, yeah, we're just going to grab the herb here and then. You want to go over to the car you don't want to go over to that other spot there that's like shining up because that just that's that's the game just showing stefano chasing after lily you don't need to click on that all you need to do is just click in the uh that spot at the car and then go here lily's gonna pass by us here and then it's gonna trigger the next part she must be in the other missions smart girl so here you're gonna run Lots up here and you're just gonna shoot this barrel here And basically you just wanna sprint into the You're just gonna sprint into the into the area here. So, uh, also watch your stamina because you were in combat and your stamina is gonna drain really fast as you're running, so just watch that. Like most likely those guys will not be able to hit you while you're even while you're walking. 
you know, if you time the sprint right. Really? So, from upstairs. Here. Yeah, we dropped one powder there, here. and now we're just gonna go through here. Gotta get through. She's a brave and resourceful little girl. She's gonna be okay. I just gotta find her. Yeah, I went around here because I thought there'd be something there, maybe. There you just want to sprint by this part. Grab the hanging ammo here. And we're gonna get sort of like a, a jump scare here. Uh, you just want to run by this guy. Sometimes now those, uh, those crates, whatever, will block you. Uh, if that happens, just try and hit that guy with the axe, because, you know, you'll get the axe back then by killing him, so... It doesn't uh, change anything. Go in here, there's gonna be uh, a syringe. Make sure to grab that. There's also gonna be a shock bolt. And there's also gonna be gunpowder here. I think a good amount as well. Seven gunpowder, it's pretty nice. So here's the, uh, the shotgun. If you don't pick it up in the... Or side mission or whatever it is. Nice. It'll uh, spawn Take here. It. Now you just want to click on the doll here. So coming up now is the uh, one, one probably one, one of the scariest parts of the game, maybe. But it really is easy as well. The murder. You, know, you have to fight three of the demon dogs. Uh, I was so close. Yeah, Damn basically it. we're just going to be using the usual Calm strat down. that I use. Think. Because it really is easy her. to do. I never have a problem no with it. I've never, into this you know, I I never, I'm pretty way. sure I've never died on oh, it or you know. anything like that. So, not sure I can trust him, but he wants out of here as bad as I want to find. If you look, Billy. if you notice what I'm doing here is I'm using the the crouch or the cover it's the while crouching. You can also add uh, sprints to go down the holes here quicker. So here you want to um, have the electric bolts equipped here. They are ready. Basically, what you're gonna do for this fight is uh, you're gonna you're gonna try and aim somewhere near about where I'm aiming. It doesn't matter where you aim; it doesn't need to be specific. It just needs to be a bit close to where I to where I'm aiming at. Then you're gonna watch. You gotta try and see as quickly as possible which you know of the demon dogs that I actually hit. Because you're gonna quick switch to the handgun then to shoot the next one and then just run to the uh the uh, the bin or whatever the thing that we're climbing up on. Hey! You! The girl! Where is she? Yeah, here we are, aiming up there. I don't know what they hit there, so... Then you want to quick switch the hang on and shoot it. And then you just want to run up here to the, uh, to the uh, container here. You just want to jump up. See, one thing I did here was I waited, because these things can climb up these, so... I was thinking maybe it would be a good idea to make them climb up, because sometimes because they can come out of this area then and attack Sebastian. As he's running out here. Well, after a certain amount of seconds, they'll disappear. Shit, lost him again. So now, that's Hope that part done now. This time. Easy. O'Neill, it's about. Yeah, I hope uh, chapter 3 was. I hope this made chapter 3 easy for you guys in any way. I never, you know. I never have a feeling of like, oh, wow, I'm a bit worried to do this, or, you know, that kind of thing. We're basically just simplifying what's going on here. So now, we're gonna go up to O'Neill, finish this chapter. And we're gonna make our first save when we get to the second safe house, not, not O'Neill's. 
Just so, you know, if something goes wrong, you, you won't be that far away. You know, if you die or whatever. Just highly unlikely if you follow, if you're following everything I'm doing and getting the a basic idea of what I'm doing for boss fights and so on in certain areas. Certain parts I'm sure will be out of my control of what I say or, you know, the strats that I use, but, yeah. If you have a general Not idea sure. about the game and each part, you'll, we call you should be more than fun. Here we're just uh, skipping the dialogue here. The past, my commute, you'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what you're not anything. Yeah, just gonna grab these items here. Let's see. Yeah, so here I'm grabbing some uh, harpoon bolts and shock bolts. It's pretty much all you want to do. Like, uh, basically, I, I did that at this point because, you know, in case I needed them later, I didn't want to field craft them just so I could save more gunpowder. But now, we're going to be uh, running up to the next out. Uh, next to our workshop but also on the way we're gonna grab some uh, herbs and we're also gonna grab another nail as well that's a bit risky to get so if you guys want to make sure you don't run into a dangerous moment I recommend I would recommend you skip it but if you want the extra nail for an extra explosive bolt I would say get it so See, there's gonna be a herb here and also in this area here where we, where we are now there's actually another axe on a wall here somewhere I remember I actually cannot remember exactly where it is but it's a, it's on some sort of wall uh so if you if you somehow if you need an axe there's one around here somewhere so up here there's a truck with a bunch of the lost in there there's like an RNG thing where sometimes they will break through that uh, whenever you pass by it or whatever so that's that's what i mean when it's a bit risky to get this nail so basically i'm running up here and i'm like you know kind of going to the far right here to see if i can prevent them from breaking through the truck so here i'm going around the long way into the uh, repair What's shop that? here is it, that might actually increase the chance of that being you know, of them not breaking th through the truck because they can open that, like, without you opening it themselves. I've had it happen a couple of times. That's why I do that, just to make sure. But if they do break through, I recommend you just run. You just get out of there. So now we're going to get the, uh, the sniper. On the way here, we're going to run up here because it's going to be a herb. There's also going to be another key here we can get. And it's also really nice to get this sniper this part because it's not one of those screeching monsters here, whatever they're called. Thing with the green L's coming out of them. When, once you come here at the at this point, after you do the, the main mission, it won't be here anymore. So, These parts the, rifle, the sniper rifle, rifle parts. Now we have a sniper. We will... Most likely not be using until O'Neill. Basically, the sniper I mainly use on O'Neill, the mini boss fight before the end, and then Moira at the end of the game. Spoilers! Spoilers! So now we're going up to the, the workshop. Pretty sure we don't collect anything else here. There's nothing more to collect. There's a hysteria. Just, just randomly wandering. So here I'm just casually walking so that doesn't get alerted. Yeah, grab the shot bolt and then just 
Run into this. No idea why I shot that, I just did. <laughs> just felt like it. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Here. This is where we're gonna make our first save of the game. Kidman. I think. I think also I'm gonna we're gonna use the keys as well, actually beforehand. Our first uh, set of keys. So yeah, we're gonna grab the smoke bolts there. The vape bolts. Grab the, uh, the gunpowder, and now, now we're gonna use our, our first set of mounted keys. See what we got. So glad you could make it. Unfortunately, there's very little I can do for you here. This is a challenge you have to face as you are. Wow. I knew what I got myself into. I'm Jeez, Tatiana. Thanks. The lockers here are still free to use, though. I get the and why is she even here at this point, then, you know? Now more than ever. <laughs> okay, so let's open these lockers. I get them all. Herbs, nice. Yeah, we're gonna have a buttload of herbs in this run, like... Now, I'm pretty sure you guys won't get the loot that I get there. It doesn't matter. You know, if you don't get... If you guys get a totally different loot... Than I do, which most likely you will. It does not matter. There, we're gonna make the first save. Okay. So now let's continue on. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. Uh, these are just loading sections. You don't need to run here. You just do by instinct. But you do need to run for these parts if you want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Coming up is the uh section where you're finding a lot of haunted or the the, uh, the lost I call them haunted that's what they're called in the force game be used to the force game I've called them I've called the enemies in the force game haunted for so long I just stuck with my brain yeah they're called the lost in this game so here uh, it's gonna be a health to grab and also a, a drawer here Possible loot inside. It's also gonna be like I think there's like ten gunpowder from this guy here. So here there's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be uh, a Mobius case here with uh, some shotgun ammo inside. So you make sure to get that as well. Pretty nice. Give me. I'm oh, only got one extra ammo. It's still better than nothing. So here we're literally just going to use the the ladder strat that I'm sure you all know about. Emergency lockdown uh, procedures are currently. It is actually better to do the. the it is better to kill these indicator. all Might these guys instead try. of you know actually just waiting because it's faster. It's like two minutes faster Emergency depending lockdown. how fast you do it. I think if you do it in the fast, most optimal way, I'm pretty sure it's about like two minutes and twenty seconds faster or something. I think it takes a good three, four minutes to uh for this to pass by. Well the classic mode, it is really nice to use. Because then we're, you know, full on ammo. And all we gotta do is wait. And we also get to watch the perfectly designed AI.
Yep. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? We can't find them. Research wing emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system records. Man, I didn't know this was a stealth game. Metal Gear Solid 6. The Phantom Sebastian. An actual finished game. Just kidding. <laughs> And look at that guy's head when they're looking at you there. It's pretty creepy. So coming up soon, you'll see uh, one of the, the white ladies slash the hysteria. She's gonna, you know, scream at us. She's like, let me kill you. Let me get you. I'm vicious. I do a lot of damage. Let me hit you. Security annex emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Yeah, it's almost over now. Once the hysteria comes out, that's pretty much like the just about the ending part of it. Oh boy! And she looks all depressed there at that point. She's like, why you no play with me? I just want to stab you. And then she's all like, you know, I must go. My planet needs me. Bye. And now, this part is about to end. Man, that guy just turning in circles. <laughs> so once you see the door opening, that's when you want to jump down and run. Here you just want to swing the axe to break it open. Or you can shoot the chain as well, it doesn't matter. Jesus, the smell. Now you want to run here, use the lever. So we can go down into the sewer to pass by. And uh, come, coming up as two of the lost here. You're basically just going to run past them. And uh, come up the ladder. And basically, Sebastian is going to get stunned for a second. Because, you know, when an enemy sees you, you're going to get staggered for a second. Make sure you, re you repress the sprint button at that point. So you keep running. And then just spam A so you automatically will uh, climb the ladder. Because... That guy's coming to grab you, so as long as you do that, you'll be perfectly fine. Now you just want to sprint here. So coming up here is probably a bit of a so scary part, but thanks, really is easy at the same time. Make it through without this thing. Uh, we're gonna come up to one of the lost here. You're you just know, gonna run past her. She's easy to get by. And then you're gonna come up to one of the screeching ladies, screeching oh. monsters. It's like, whee, you know. Yeah. So this part can be a bit intimidating for classic. You're like, whoa, she can, you know, they can one hit kill you. You know, and it's not classic. You know, you don't want to die. Uh, but basically we're going to be using a, a bottle strap to, you know, bait it away so it doesn't see us. Yeah, we're going to grab that metal pipe here. Use them for harpoon bolts. 
I hear him crouching so she doesn't hear me walking. This is a, uh, a key down here. Yeah, the best way to go about this is, uh, or one thing to take advantage of is this, this enemy cannot kill you straight away. It's impossible, like, it's not possible for this enemy to immediately just grab you. Because once it alerts, it'll start screaming at you, it'll do the whole ree thing, you know? So keep that in mind, use that to your advantage to get around us, you know? So, the easiest way is to just bait it away and then get to the, to the power thing and then just sprint, you know, to the exit because, you know, it's not possible for it to grab you, so. Also, this was really annoying here. This, this enemy would not, would not get attracted by my bottles here. I think it took like four bottles or something. Look at that. Still not attracted. We'll have to use another one here. There we go. So all you need to do is just track it away so you can get past. Yeah, I'm running here, but I'm not sprinting, just to make sure it doesn't come out to me straight away. Now you want to do uh, 1, 2, and 4 here. With that, pick up the fuels here. Now we're just going to sprint out of here. There's the, uh, the, the screech. There we go. Uh, thank God. The so coming up here is that uh, it's going to be a syringe and gunpowder. So don't forget to pick that up as well. Very nice. So as you can see at this point, we're still early on. And we already have 151 gunpowder. Like that's, whoa, that's a lot. More than enough than what we need. Yeah, we're gonna run up here. There's a uh, shotgun ammo here, which we don't need because we're full. But I, I honestly could not remember what was up here. I did know that, that there was harpoon bolt here, though. Harpoon bolts are nice. So, yeah, coming up here is gonna be at uh, the thing we did. Approach through. Vents. So now we're coming up to the uh, the city hall section, where we'll be dealing with the guardian, obscure it, and so on. Spoilers! Oh, spoilers on a guide. Oh. See in this room, there's hanging ammo. There's also. My herbs, a herb, and a, an empty drawer. Nice. If all we've ever wanted was an empty drawer. The reason why it's empty is because Yuji, for playing, you know, the other difficulties, to be go there'd be weapon parts there, so you can't upgrade in this mode. So here we're just going to City Hall now. Yeah, one thing I'm pretty sure we don't use at all is the, the coffee. You really don't need to use coffee at all. Pretty much useless, honestly. Like, not I've never once like felt I needed to use the coffee. Honestly. This is way too many herbs in the game. But, you know, if you're playing the game without any strategy, you will probably need it then. And you don't know where everything is. There's another key there as well. Uh, this must be City Hall. So there's a cool thing about this bin here, um, this bin here will give us gunpowder, but if you don't have an axe, that bin will give you an axe, so keep that in mind if you don't, uh, you know, you, somehow you don't have an axe at this point, which you should, there's no need to use an axe, you know, anywhere near around here, so. So now, we're up to, uh, I think this is chapter 5 now, yeah, chapter 5 is coming up here. Uh, we're running to the right here because it's going to be a pouch here for syringes. 
But now we can carry like four syringes at this point when we pick this up. Not sure I'm ready for this. But I can't turn back now. Well, before we go to the Guardian, we're also going to go to the left of this area. This is more, uh... There's more stuff we can pick up here. I think here is... I think it's a smoke bolt and gunpowder. No, that's that's definitely worth to get. They're a bit far away, but it's worth it. Yeah, for this guardian fight, we're not we're not gonna kill the guardian. We're just gonna be scavenging loot and running away and taking the you know the other route where you don't need to kill her. You guys can kill the guardian if you like. Feel free. But for classic mode, I wouldn't recommend it. Just just so you can save all the ammo. Yeah, just you wait now. waiting for you. Hmm. Reminiscence of Sun Hill 2. Waiting for you in a special place. City Hall. Here you're gonna um you're gonna hold down circle. Maybe it's cut scene to skip here. Uh once the fight begins here you're gonna run right. So yeah, let's run right here. You're gonna enter this part here because there's actually an explosive bolt in here. And once you pick up the explosive bolt, just wait in this area and wait for her to uh Knock down the door, so she'll be stuck in this area for a bit. So basically, you have time to do out to a lot of stuff here. I'm basically just shooting these boxes to see if we can get gunpowder. There's actually sniper ammo in this box here. You always get sniper ammo there. So now I'm just gonna wait and just shoot with this. One thing here you want to do is uh, equip a whether a small bolt or an electric bolt. Just so you can stun her to get, so she doesn't keep chasing her. Yeah, pick up the smoke ball, shoot this box here. This is that uh, syringe isn't a syringe in there. Now you're gonna pick up these. We're gonna crouch here. She's gonna do our blade here. The second time she does this, right now you wanna do that to leave. I think, um, I believe, you know, you could ever do that twice. It basically will kind of like keep her in a longer animation there. So we have more time to escape there or whatever. Now you want to get an electric bolt ready. Because you're going to use that so she doesn't catch up to us. I'm going to shoot that, that barrel so we can get past. We have all the loots here. Now there's going to be two explosive bolts here that we can get. So I'll make sure to pick those up. Now you're going to set down and the electric bolts set around there. Keep in mind that you know the electric bolt has a big range, so that's why I set it there, just so we can have as much time as possible. And while that's happening, just spam uh, A or X as fast as you can. Here, there's going to be two of the lost in this area. Uh, basically, we're going to use the harpoon and shotgun to knock them over. You want to aim for like either the stomach or the chest, and that'll knock them over, so then you can stomp on them then. There you go. Yeah, that's that's pretty funny looking. <laughs> you know, you shoot them down with the shotgun and then somehow the game that you stealth kill it. Like, what? What are you doing, game? Calm down. See, another thing that's nice, say, this game got a patch just there like a day ago. There you go for making this video, though so, I'm pretty sure most of you guys should have less crashes now, so hopefully that's... So hopefully you guys can all complete classic now at this point, because that was pretty rough, you know, because everyone was getting crashes and all that, which is not nice at all. I have no idea why they made a difficulty like that, if the game was so, you know, prone to crashes and all that so easily.
The hero were just that. They can expose the bolts. I make them all here because, you know, obviously it costs less resources, so. Here comes the Amita guy. Don't work right. The Amita. Mr. Amita. You mean, take this. Use it to turn on the Amita. Here, you're just gonna spam circle to skip this thing popping up here, and then run to the right. It's gonna be a drawer here. Wish I could have gotten Sometimes you might get like a nail or something from there. I'm still gonna. I recommend that you do uh, open that. So we're coming up to a bunch of parts here, which will lead into the boss fight with Obscura. I'm gonna open this drawer as well. There's gonna be a herb here. Now coming up after this is gonna be a, a puzzle. And I hope... I'm hoping I don't need to explain this puzzle for anyone, because, I don't know. It's, I don't know if anyone's ever struggled with this puzzle. I don't think... It, is it possible to struggle with this puzzle? I don't know. What's this about? <laughs> Even within, uh, you know, even since the first game has very simplistic puzzles that aren't, you know, really don't require thought. And you just gotta click on it and then move the mannequin here. There we go. And then What's this? here, you're gonna press R1, this and then you're gonna so press R2. And then press B to go out of the, the you know go out of the camera and here you're gonna run into these photos here that are that actually have photos on them make them light up and once you get to this this one here you're gonna turn left here and pick up the picture and that's gonna trigger uh, the lily picture to pop up here I remember this. which actually it didn't actually happen here which is weird it's still a cold case like I, I kind of figured this out earlier ball for some reason, now um, when I was picking picking up that picture, it was making this picture here pop up sooner. Lily. But it didn't actually happen that time for this some reason. Playing with me. I must have did something different there than what I usually did. But that's actually that would would actually be a time save if you can do that every time. I hear you just want to run into this room here, and then Stefano will start talking. He sounds like Bane, but for some reason, and you're just gonna wait for him to stop talking. So here, I like to whack uh, quick torn to trigger the door to spawn here. There we go, quick torn. It is a herb there behind the, the dresser. Open this drawer. Need to grab this file to continue on. Trigger the next part. Now there's going to be a part here where we see Stefano. And basically you're just going to shoot directly at him. And that's going to cause the doors to close. Which uh, triggers this next part. <laughs> here I'm just uh, stopping to let my stamina regen. Because I want full stamina as I'm running down these stairs. Because it's a very long stairs. Yeah, coming up is the Obscurify. Um, if you've seen my speed runs, we're pretty much doing the same strat here. It's really easy to do. Um, yeah, you, you'll see as the, the fight goes on here. Basically, the idea of this fight is that uh, if you're behind Obscure and crouching, it's going to prevent her from going for the, the emitter. The emitter. You know... So, if you want, you can literally stay behind her the whole time and just tank her hits. You can do that if you like, if you want to make 
want to make sure that you're not like wasting too much ammo or anything. Because believe me when I say you will have way more, way more, way more enough heals in the game, the you know, for the whole game. So. Authorization required. Please so the first thing you're gonna do here is you're gonna use the shotgun. We're gonna sprint up to Terminal. her when the fight begins, and you're gonna shoot her. In her you're gonna do a body shot to her, and she's gonna turn around, Please and you're gonna shoot her in the head. And that's gonna cause the the timer to uh, go down. Then. Meet my beautiful obscure. The beautiful. Okay, we're gonna sprint up. Body shot. Do that in the head. Timer's going down. Now I'm just going behind that. Just staying crouched. Now if you time it right, you can now uh, just run, a run away. You won't get here. But uh, yeah, sometimes she will... Uh, now, if you go in front of her too much or run away, that's going to cause her to go for, for the emitter. So at that point, you want to either use a smoke bolt or an electric bolt, and that will stop her from you know going near it. But if that does happen and you use it, you use like an electric bolt, make sure that you immediately go behind her. Then you know because that will that will make her go for you. Rather than going for the emitter. Oh, yeah, this she just tanking the hits here. There's actually there's actually a heal in this fight as well you can grab. Which we're gonna grab. So yeah, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna use uh pretty sure we're gonna use the shot bolt here or we might just run away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we're up here, and this certain spot is gonna be a, a syringe. Gets the fight done. Very easy. There is somewhat multiple ways you can do this fight, but that's the best way. Like, that's the best way of doing it, I think. Especially for classic. You can also do a strat where you can make her like run around the tables or whatever, chasing you. But that can also make her so she'll go for the emitter instead of. Going for you as well. Stabilization procedure. That's the uh, the best thing I would say doing. Great. This is just stay behind her. My own ass. But what am I supposed to do now? Now after the He's fight's gone. done, there's a bunch of items we can get here. There's a couple of herbs. Where did he take her? Should give Kibben an update about this. Shit. Maybe I'll get a signal outside. Hey. So as you can see, we have 31 herbs at this point. Like. Is it really possible for us to run out of heals at this point? I don't think so. Let's grab these items here. It's gonna be a syringe over here as well. We have to pick that up. So now we're just running to get out of here now. Get out of City Hall. And then chapter six will begin. Can't believe these bastards use Lily like some kind of science experiment, and then they have the nerve. Yeah, our first save we used mess. was uh, kind of chapter four. Joke. Our next save will be, I think, our next save is just before we face the final. You know, we'll do the pictures and all that, and then that's gonna be our next save, from what I remember. But as I said, in this whole room, we're, in, we're only Thanks. saving six times, so feel free to save. Gotta Use the extra save together. wherever you want. If you feel like you know you're a bit scared to do a certain part. I think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. But I'm pretty sure the spots it's that we save are pretty good. Me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, uh, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. Originally, I wasn't actually gonna save until. O'Neal. Until the part before, you know, the cabin fight with Torres. That was literally going to be our next save now. And that's, you know, at the end of chapter 9. But then I talked myself out of it and I was like, that's really far away. 
for like it really is the easy to get through these sections like but the re the main reason I did choose to save the force the final is because sometimes you can get a crash you know before you go into the theater so I think it's the best idea to do the two picture things then go save Yeah, we're just uh, going back here. West access tunnels. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. So in here, we can get um. Lily. We can get a pipe, this I think, to make carbon molds. There we go. And then in this next room, we can get a pouch for the handgun. It's also a drawer. Oh, possibly give us, you know, gunpowder and so on. Here we go, handgun pouch. Nothing. Thanks, game. Wow. Yeah, you're going to run up here, and there's going to be a key over here. Now we're just going to wait for the stamina to regen here. And just let the stamina regen here so we can run past. Using the, the wall cover to get past this. Basically just trying to make sure that those, those lost don't see me. Because if they alert, man, your stamina is... Your stamina will be so bad trying to get down these stairs. Yeah. Here comes the jizz area. Whoa. What the hell is this? And it's gonna be a it's gonna be gunpowder here you can grab. Make sure to grab that. Only two, but it's not better than nothing. Yeah, we're just passing through this area. It's not really much here. There's a herb here though. Listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? So here comes the ad uh, watcher, I believe this is called. But so you're literally just gonna run past this. No point in like fighting there or anything. You can't kill this thing. You can't kill this thing. But uh once you do take it out, it just it just spawns again. And you do the forced uh, part where it grabs you and you have to shoot in the face a few times. And you don't get any loot or anything from it, no gel or anything, so. Good god, look at the size of that thing. Here, we're just gonna sprint through. Maybe I can sneak past it. Yeah, the watch is gonna grab you here and you can shoot at you can shoot five times here. It's pretty easy, yeah. But once you once you're in gameplay, basically just trying to aim to the left a little bit. You'll be able to just shoot that. Very easy. In this area here, there's two doors you can go into. If you go into order one of them, the other door will be locked. I then, this place so was supposed to be fucking stable. I recommend you go into the the door on the left here. This is, this is like actually matter, honestly. Yeah, a couple of stuff you can get here. Herb, shotgun ammo. If you're playing on um, Nightmare and so on, you get a bunch of uh, weapon parts as well. 
So here, we're going to meet uh, Hoffman. We're going to have a nice uh, conversation with her. This is how I conversate with conversate with any so woman ever. Independent contract that means I have a deal. Liam was the big, and I think blah 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 blah. Good in this. A sec, this is your sack up, but they're they don't care. Can you think? Yeah. Then maybe yeah. I'll keep these. Wow. Right. Let's. I'll review. Man, nah, we're so Let's social right now. Wow. Anyway, so let's grab that syringe, the gunpowder. Then we're about to go into chapter seven coming up soon. Now we're entering uh, post plus. This area has a is a bit like chapter three, you know, it has a somewhat some uh, side quests and so on. Not as much as chapter three, but yeah, we won't be doing any of anything with sites or anything like that. There's no point. Waste too much time. We're just gonna be grabbing what we need, and then uh, you know, just continuing on the game. Here's a bunch of stuff you can grab. I think we're full on harpoons at this point. Yep. Here. Let's grab them. Oh, nothing. Oh, wow. This game hates me. No loots for me. All right. The theater. Yeah, I'm just going up here to grab the, uh, the bottle here just in case I might need them. Even though I probably I'm pretty sure once we go into the one of the the I think it's called the tap room bar or whatever. There's like two bottles in there, so. Uh let's see. I don't think there's actually anything up here for us. Yeah. I think she just came up here to see if there was, because I could not remember if there was anything here at this point. But there is uh there is stuff there when you go up there later on in like chapter thirteen or whatever. Here we're gonna activate the, the, hell the main mission here. About? Damn it. Lily's inside there. Respect art, huh? Time to put Hoffman's theory to the test. One thing we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna grab a key and get a medical kit as well. There's also gonna be uh, one of the lost here in our way. This guy spawns like automatically when you're running up to the two pictures or whatever to trigger the main mission. So what I tried to do there is I tried to stealth kill him, but they came uh, maybe climb the ladder instead. So. We're just gonna drop down. Yeah, we're just gonna kill this guy with the axe. Grab his axe then. Just to get him out of the way. So, coming up here, there's gonna be a key here. And up here, in the, the back of the van here, or whatever, whatever this is, it's gonna be a med kit plus possible gunpowder for those boxes. So you can hear the other uh, guardian coming here. Yeah, don't worry about her. Just let her do her thing and just run away from her. That's all you gotta do. Once you run like past her, you go up here, you'll lose her then. She can only run up to us to a certain point and then she just runs off then. Now here we're gonna grab another key. One over here. I'm basically just checking to see where the guardian is. Man, that's the second time we've potato aimed with an axe. That's even the right term for, you know, potato aiming with an axe. <laughs> so here we're gonna use the uh, the bottle. We're gonna use the bottle here to bait away the hysteria. 
obviously we don't want her coming after us here. This part might this part here might seem a bit risky what we're about to do here. We're basically just gonna grab this nail and there's gonna be an another one of those hysterias here blocking a, a shotgun pouch for more ammo. Sounds so we're like just gonna sprint control. up here. Basically just wanna sprint, spam X and then spam B and then just, just you know jump up straight away. Probably looks a bit scary, but it really is easy to do. I've never, like, yeah, had a problem there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's just standing there. I wouldn't recommend you, you guys do what I just did there. I just did that for fun. Because I wanted to shoot the barrel at them. <laughs> Here. I'm going to open this drawer, see if we can get some loot. Game says nope. Here's the first uh, picture, picture, picture segment here. Where we want to destroy these pictures, and um, we're gonna so run to obscure this, again. This art. It's just a photo. You actually can uh, kill obscure here. It takes a lot of ammo though. But I'll we're just gonna be grabbing a certain key that we need and getting out then. Yeah, you can kind of uh, bait away Obscura here when you're running back. But like, Obscura will run to where you're about to run to. So, but you can force her to run to a certain part, and then you can go the other way. So she won't really All catch right. up to you straight away. This but I'm slightly going that. left here. Like, I'm making her think I'm about to go left. You know? Shit. But I'm going there a little bit, and then I'm going right here. And now we're going to the electric bolts we're gonna use that so she doesn't uh, stun us I recommend you guys put that down just for safety measures even if she doesn't get here as quickly you know sometimes you can just do this without her getting to you but I'd recommend you guys put an electric bolt there just in case hopefully I'm done with those things for a while this part here we're gonna be uh, crouching through some uh, electrical wires or whatever so for this certain uh, picture, the one with Obscura, you go left, and then the next one in the tap room, the tap room bar or whatever, that, that's the one where you go right. So just follow where I'm going to here. Okay, Hoffman. Hope you're right about destroying these things. When you get up to the mannequin here, make sure you go a little bit left here, because you won't be able to click on the, the mannequin straight away. And there's a high chance you'll get hit by the, the electrical wires, so just watch out for that. Very easy to do. Now we're going off to the next one. Freak's work was actually therapeutic, but I'm not done yet. One more. Here I'm going here just so the guardian won't notice me here. If she doesn't notice yet, I'd recommend you guys put down a small ball iron and just run. Because it really is annoying when she's chasing you with the stamina and all that. You literally just you're literally just waddling slowly away from her. It's just oh it's really annoying. Let's grab these. There's another herb here as well. Why did I just skip the herb? I don't know. I actually do not even remember skipping that. I don't know why I skipped it. The heck's wrong with me? <laughs> oh. So yeah, we're going over here to grab two things. Grab a key. Just here. There's also going to be a pouch for the sniper. Well, it's definitely worth going over here.
And now we're going into the uh, the tap room bar. And this part is easy to do. Like this, you really don't need to do anything here. Like for this part, like there's a bunch of lost in here, but you literally can just run past them, and that's it. And it's actually consistent as well. I've never failed them before. You can get some smoke powder there, some bottles as well. There's also a fuse in here, I think, and there's another drawer as well. Possibly get gunpowder there. If you're really lucky, you might get a nail. Nails are really Let's nice. Whenever I get a nail from a drawer, I'm like really happy. I love using the explosive bolts. How about this uh, shining reference? Becoming art. And I like to imagine this is Bob Ross in his early days, you know? This is Bob Ross before he started doing his art series and all that. <laughs> Creating art, making the people appreciate the art. Anyway, so we gotta wait until he stops talking here to grab this key. There's a hanging ammo we can get here. Ooh, spoopy. So here, you're just gonna run through this part. Now make sure you guys uh, don't sprint where I don't sprint, so I'm gonna stop here. And we're just gonna slowly waddle here. And once we get to about here, we're gonna start sprinting then. And basically just spam A as quickly as you can. That probably looks scary, but... Man, I, I just tried that randomly one day and it just worked and I was like, oh, it actually works, cool. For some reason they don't attack me and block me or cause me to fail that. I have yet to see that fail, so... Now you're gonna crouch here to the right. And be aware of where the... You know where the opening is to get to the man mannequin it's pretty soon see so I just follow where I'm going here and this should be our way in here there we go and we're just gonna walk over and dunk So now we're going over to the, the now we're going to make our next save as well. One thing you want to do here, when you kick open this door, just walk, don't sprint, because you'll alert her. Once she gets a bit down there, you want to start sprinting then, she won't hear you. Pretty much you'll be, you'll be free. Just go. Yeah, I'm just uh, slowly walking so they don't alert straight away. I kind of uh, crouched here because I wanted to try and avoid these guys completely, but it didn't work out. Your day jobs, your your day job, Sebastian. You know, stealth is not your thing. So here we're just running to our for uh, our safe safe zone, so we can save. our second save. Okay. Now we're on chapter 7, Lust for Arch. 
now we're going to do the boss fight with Stefano. Got to do a couple of things before that, of course. It is the, the main Stefano fight can seem a bit intimidating, but it really is easy at the same time. The main thing about Stefano's fight is just knowing his attacks. Like if you know all his attacks, you know what what he's gonna do. Because like he usually says something before he does an attack, so you know. Makes it really predictable. Here we're in the theater. We're just gonna sprint here when the chapter begins. There's all this like forced, unskippable dialogue. My work? You expect me to bend to your will just like them. Thinking they could sculpt me into what I am not. What they created in here. It's marvelous. They wasted it. Because they had no imagination. Because they. Because they. they There's actually a syringe to my right there, but we're full, so we can't pick it up. You want to stop me. But make sure you pick up that syringe if you don't. If you're not full. Because with the power of the core. I can create my art. Once he stops talking, Whatever. you can uh, click in this door to trigger the cutscene to skip it. And you're just gonna sprint after Stefano here. Cannot have her. You would do nothing and then you're gonna get a, a section where you have to avoid the eyeball or whatever. She's useless in your Very easy to do, you can run past like most of this, so. And yeah, the one thing to keep in mind for this is just. It takes a couple of seconds for this thing to actually kill you. So. It's gonna be a part here that looks close. But you really do have all the time in the world. Holy shit. Here, just gonna sprint. Once you get to here, you're gonna approach. Just wait a second. There you go, you're gonna sprint. And we're gonna get this key here as well. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna crouch when we go in here. And that looks close there, but. But once you, like, you know, once the, the, the axe animation is done, you won't be, like, the thing won't see it anymore. So here, you're just gonna follow here. You're gonna crouch, you're gonna go into here and just wait. Wait a couple of seconds and then there you go. Now you can just run run through the rest of it and that's it. Done. Very easy. Now, we're coming up to the Stefano fight. There's a bunch of items we can get in here. Use, we can get a nail. It's health here if you need it, but we're full. Also, gunpowder. So, while we're running here, I'll explain this Stefano fight. So the first phase for Stefano is pretty straightforward. Um, if you've seen my speed run, we're basically just going to be using the same strat, because it's the best strat to use anywhere. It doesn't matter, it's not risky or anything. Uh, it will be Basically, you want to time the shotgun with the explosive bolts. Pretty straightforward. An and then you want to kind of like run after him with the shotgun. The, uh, the hardest part of it is the second phase. Because he can run at you then. You know, there's a part in the second phase, which is the scariest attack that he does, is where he Your runs at you. And he's all like, you know, like, Philistine or whatever, whatever he's saying there. And once he does that, um... I'm just watching this fight here as we go here. So once you do that force hit there, you want to run up here because it's shotgun ammo. And basically just be aware of what he's doing here. Make sure you constantly reload the shotgun. Picture 
Yeah, the one thing about the force phase is he's very, um... You know, he's not vicious in the force phase. He's very slow. So, if you notice he did a melee hit there, in the force phase he only does one hit there. In the second phase, when he does like a teleport and then he attacks, he'll do two, two attacks then. So watch out for that. You know? So here we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run back here. And the spot we're in right now here, is where you wanna stand if you wanna avoid the hits from the tentacles or whatever. So just stay where I am here, and you'll never get hit by the tentacles. So Stefano's always gonna spawn there. So just wait for him to pop up there. The Ishii gets hit. Ishii got hit me there while the explosive bolts went off. There's actually more shotgun ammo and a syringe you can get here. In this part. But here I just like to stand still here. And once he tries to do the thing, just do that. Hit him. There's that attack where he runs at you. That's that's the thing you just gotta you just gotta not be afraid of is when he does that. Just shoot him as you as you run up at you. And that makes that fire really easy. That's definitely the most vicious attack that he does. So there's a there's a syringe over there. So there's that attack I was talking about, where he does two attacks there or whatever. So now I'm just going away from him so he doesn't get me there, so he doesn't kill me. Yeah, there, there definitely is not an exact way to do this fight, because he does he is pretty random. As you can see there. Uh So basically you just gotta be aware of his attacks, you know? They're all predictable, they're all there's always a way to avoid getting hit from every attack. You just need to be aware and be prepared. Funny enough, um making making this guide like before we're doing the commentary, this is the only part where I reset where I have to do it again. The rest of the game is all done in one go. Um so there is the fight finish there. We just didn't you just need to do enough damage to him. But uh yeah, as I was saying, he he actually killed me when I was uh, recording this the first time. Because he actually did the the Philistine attack. Where he runs at you. He actually did that twice in a row, I couldn't believe. I've never seen that happen before. Like he did it, and he stabbed me four times, and then he you know he teleports away, and then it heals. And then he did it again, exactly right after. And I was like, wow, you can actually do that. You can actually do it again right after. He did it twice what in a row. This? Where's the mirror? Which is pretty crazy. So here we're just using the, the keys that we have here. You look like you could use some help, detective. Nice, some shotgun ammo. Yeah, if you don't get shotgun ammo from the lockers here, which I think you mo most likely will. I'm pretty sure you most likely always will get shotgun ammo at this point, but maybe not. If, if you don't, just buy, a, just, just buy a good amount of shotgun ammo from here. Because you're going to need them later on for O'Neill and so on. And like the cabin fight and so on as well. Here I'm just reloading the shotgun. Now we're gonna buy some shotgun shells and make sure you buy all the you buy uh, a bunch of these as well. So we've got four, a bunch of them. Okay, we're good now. Let's continue on. Now we're entering the sort of like hellish areas of the game. These are like my favorite sections of the game. I love these parts. So yeah, we're just going right here to the right. For the gunpowder. There's also a uh, harpoon bolt. Uh, one harpoon bolt on the left side. But we don't. We're full, so. But if you need a harpoon bolt, definitely get it. For sure. So here I'm using the the cover 
I am here to help. So we can, you know, quickly get up here, save a bit of time. You can't sprint here for a couple of seconds. What was that? There's actually a syringe here. You'll always get a syringe from that box, so keep that in mind if you're out of syringes. Shotgun ammo here. Gonna be uh, a thing here that's gonna drop down, so make sure you just stand still and not get hit by it. It's gonna do a little bit of damage to you. Oh shit. Get a nail gunpowder there. So, we're going up to a, a dungeon area here. Basically, you're going to be using, uh, for this entire part, you're going to be using two harpoon bolts and a smoke bolt. That's pretty much it. That's all you're going to need. And um, possibly, if you want to be super safe, we're going to use a bottle as well. You're going to go here, grab the bottle and the gunpowder here. And then you're going to headshot these two guys here, because these two guys wake up when you, uh, you, you turn the crank to get out of this area, so make sure you take these guys out. This part probably looks risky, but it's not risky at all. The strat we're about to do here is really consistent. I've yet to have to fail it since I started doing it as well. Here, we're going to grab the harpoon bolts. Looks like I can we're going to take the, the crank here. So, once we get out of this room, the, ca the, the gates and all are going to open, and all the lost are going to be able to come out and attack us. You're going to see one just run past here, don't worry about him, he won't be bothersome. So you're going to get alerted here. So, you want to stop, don't sprint here at this point, so put a smoke bolt, and once you get to here, start sprinting. Once you get to that, to this where we are now, stop sprinting. Um, basically a sprint there because the hysteria, the white girl, will hear you sprinting and that's going to cause her to go there. But if you want to make sure she doesn't come for you, I'd recommend, if you want to be super safe, to throw a bottle just to bait her, her away from you so she doesn't come for you. Because sometimes she might um, start coming down where we, where we are straight away. She usually does uh, come for the... You know, go to the area with the, where the crank is now, so. But this strat is really consistent, so. Really nice strat. Now you want to uh, switch to the electric bolts. That's what we're going to be using next. We're going to be fighting those, uh, those guys that are, you know, setting fire or whatever. Those are the next enemies, so make sure you have those. Make sure you have the... The ward crossbow equipped at this point with the electric bolts ready to shoot. So that's what we're going to be using next. Because they're going to be like right in your face you when, the, when the segment begins. So. Your failure to this game led to Nash, which led to despair. And despair led to self destruction. This is all unskippable. Just gotta wait for it to pass by. There's actually a funny Easter egg here. Um, if you look at the bottom right coming up here, you'll actually see a comment that says feeling fine. <laughs> so here at the bottom right, you can see it says feeling fine. That's pretty funny. Like this part is supposed to be like, you know, Theodore is like manipulating Sebastian, so Who is he manipulating you? them to feel fine, maybe? What do you want with me? No? No idea what that's there, but yeah. <laughs> you cannot change your past. You can only embrace it. Go toward it. Don't avoid it. Is that Lily? Let's 
So here, as I said, once this, once this, once you have gameplay here, just immediately use an electric bolt to stun this guy because it's gonna make him fall over and you can stomp on him. But be aware that they can be set in, set in fire, so you can't stomp on them straight away sometimes. They sometimes, most likely, you will be able to stomp on this force guy straight away, but sometimes he's just gonna be set in fire where you can't. I'm just running away from him. So, one thing you can do is you can use the harpoon ball to uh, you know, shoot them in the leg, it just cripples them. But if you want to be 100% super safe, I'd, I would recommend using an electric bolt there because you have more than enough electric bolts. But I just like to use the harpoon because just so we can save the electric bolts as much as possible. I like to trigger the the Theodore thing for us before I grab everything, because then you know you're saving a bit of time. But if you guys want, you can save here as well. But well, we're not gonna save here for another bit. We're gonna wait until after the, the cabin fight and all that to save to do our next save. So if you guys want to use the extra save that you're gonna have, I probably would recommend you save here. But we will be saving like somewhat soon after the cabin fight. But the cabin fight can be scary to do, but it's also really easy at the same time. So this puzzle here, very simple puzzle. Just move this uh, to the right once. Move this to the right twice. And then go to the next one over here. Move this uh, right twice. And then exact same thing again, just move the next one there, uh, right once, and that's the whole puzzle done. So yeah, coming up next is the cabin fight. This probably is one of the hardest parts of the game, but it's also really easy as well. It can be easy. Uh, basically what I like to do is just utilize the harpoon bolts and the shotgun bullet. The shotgun bullets or the shotgun itself to uh you know knock over the lost and then stomp on them because that's just the best way to to get through it um but make sure you have an axe saved for the the white lady the hysteria because she's gonna pop up in the cabin fly and that's probably like one of the scariest parts of it but the best way to kill her is to shoot once with a shotgun, run up to her, use an axe, and then shoot her like two more times, and that'll kill her. And that's like, usually you, she will not hit you by that point as well. So here, you're gonna jump down here and you're gonna skip two cutscenes. And then you're gonna aim, then ammo. you're gonna turn left here and aim at the window. And just shoot this, this lost until he dies. I think it takes five hits for it to die. Five or six. He's already dead. You want to kill these as quickly as possible. The quicker you kill these guys, the quicker the cabin fight goes as well. Not so bad yourself. Looks like you've done this before. Too many times to count. Just grabbing all the loot now. We'll all the the next step. The next loss are spawning. Alright. But I'm getting some answers when this is all over. There. Just shooting the harpoon yeah. bolts into the chest that knocks them over. Same as in the stomach. Yeah. One thing that can be annoying, sometimes you shoot them in the arm. That will knock them over. It's also really ahead. easy to miss okay. with the harpoon bolt as well. You're gonna see that coming up as well. Like shot in the leg there. Shit. Just won't stop Blasting him away. 
Yeah, the hysteria is gonna come soon. Don't let them gang up on you. Oh, as you see, I missed that guy and he grabs me. This is where we struggle a little bit. Well, I'm actually kind of glad this happened. Because you guys can see the worst possible thing that can happen here. Yeah. The thing about the Hysteria, usually it's going to go for, for Torres first before you. So use that to your advantage. Man, that guy just does just not want to die. Okay, stomping him. <laughs> so easy to miss. Like, that was like a clear shot and it still missed. Yeah, the whole reason this happened was because we got grabs that first time and we missed. If that didn't happen, we would not have struggled this much. So, it's a, it's a really good thing that you guys have seen this happen. Because then you guys can be aware of what's going on. Because they always, the enemies always spawn in the same way here. You can predict what's going to happen next, so. So here, so the best way to kill these uh, demon dogs here to shoot them once with the shotgun and then do like four shots with the handgun. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, if you want to be super safe, put a, a smoke vault down as well while they're all they spawn do. Then they won't be, to, be able to attack you and you can just shoot at them. Come on, we got the moving. cabin fight done with a Big amount of struggle. No, we took like two grabs. The uh, hysteria hit me a couple of times. We still survived. Thanks. And who are you? No time for twenty questions. There's a uh, a forced, unskippable walk and talk we can segment. Talk on the way there. Come on. Not much going on here, really. Take whatever you need inside. I'll be out here. Try to stay quiet. Yeah, there's there two hairs behind things. here. You can at least tell me how you know my name. They usually just two boxes Kidman here, but I don't think they are here this you. time. Kidman. Sometimes they're just not she here. Would try to get your help if the plan went to shit. I don't get that. Here sometimes are, like so... there'd be two boxes Wait, inside the house, and sometimes there's only one. What plan? It's like it's like the game, out game out has like difficulty adjustment, then, like Resident Evil 4 or something. But you sure it doesn't? Wait a second. Or maybe it's a checkpoint thing, or I don't know. You want to run up here to trigger guess. this next part. The way back to your safe house. This is going to be another there box here. Now we just have another wait, unskippable on. part here that we need to just wait for it to pass by. Didn't uh, say come on up about that. next part of yeah, gameplay well, that we'll get. Sure she wasn't able to debrief you on that in front is of everyone. Yeah. Uh, it's oh, basically here. a stealth section. Where we'll be passing through the the, the flame guys, One of us has got which we're going to gonna be using a couple of couple of bottles to bait them away, got so it. we can just crouch oh, through the area. Whoa, you all right? Let Get me your help. ass through before I drop it on your head. Okay, I've got it. Uh, thanks. Man, I don't get why they don't just crawl through the break after that old man. For the ba branches, like there's a big gap there, not like that old. <laughs> so you're telling me Kidman had a plan to take out Mobius all Game time. logic. Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's here. She's part of Mobius. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Taurus. You know, you should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily, and knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years, that's where she was. 
damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus. We've got to get over this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Ready? Hold on, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hey, you just gonna forget about me? What? You thought I'd leave you hanging like that? You're a part of the plan now. The plan. Right. Who else was involved in this little mutiny? Just four of us. Me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore? Father Theodore? Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were gonna get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside to make sure we got out of STEM safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. Okay, so we're back. So here we're gonna have to sprint up here. Oh no. So for this part you're gonna have to we're gonna ready the Orton crossbow with the smoke bolts equipped. Uh this is a pretty good chance the the flame guys will see you as you progress through this. And basically if that happens, the smoke bolts will make sure we can just pass through then. If something that you know, if the bad, if bad things, bad things do happen, we can just so just use the uh, the small bolts. I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that. It's hidden, but we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay, I'll take the lead. All right. So Stay here, low and keep behind me. We're gonna right, sprint up to this listen. tree over here. There's a Some herb here we can get. Don't get near them while they're on fire. At this point we have like 34 herbs. So here you're gonna sprint up to here. And when when you get to about here, you're gonna stop and just walk. Then when you get to about here, you're gonna crouch, you're gonna equip the bottle. You can wait for this guy to turn. And when you get to this bush over here, throw the bottle around there. Anywhere around there is fine. It's gonna be three of them flame guys there. And basically, you're just gonna use like about three bottles to bait them away. So we use two of them. There's another one. And that should be well enough for us to get by this area now. So, if you look at the exit of this part here, right there, where that guy is, if you get alerted at this point, just shoot a, a small bolt there, and then just sprint. Um. Because Torres will uh, can teleport to this part, so if you use a smoke bolt and just sprint, you know you'll be able to just pass through this area then, and they won't. Most of them shouldn't follow you. So that's just a precaution. So that's that section done. Pretty easy to pass by, honestly. As Sensu said. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Nice work, Sebastian. We even got the dialogue. Nice. So, we are coming up to our next save. There's no place like home. This is our third save. This one's a close second. Listen. Don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. Now our next save is not for a good one as well. At least until I arm them. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't. But this is just more uh, dialogue to yeah, skip here. She's, she's, she's gonna spam uh, like A so, here. Yeah. How are you gonna? Right. She's. 
And this is also where we're going to get freeze bolts. Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I didn't. Good. She's the good new herb. That is. So what's the bad any need? Damn. I'll send some Kimi posts. I know. I trust. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. So here you're gonna run over here. It's gonna be a ready. briefcase here. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the marrow from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius. Got a freeze bolt and there's a bunch of loot here as well you can pick up. Pick those up. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, hey, so let's make our, make our next save here. Okay. So here we go. Is that heal there? Syringe. All right. Let's hope the marrow is still there. So now we're coming up to the morgue and the O'Neill boss fight. Hopefully, this will these parts will be simple for you guys. Should be. Yeah, once you get here, you're gonna turn around. There's a drawer here, possible loot. We got nothing though. Maybe, maybe you can't get anything there in uh, in classic. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. Because a lot of the drawers will just give you, you know, weapon parts. So nail here. So this puzzle here is you don't need to do it in any order. Pretty sure there's my water order you do it in. You just need to press press each one. So. Like well, here we've, we've been here before. Maybe you can actually go to the right of this room here. Or to the right, where we just passed through there, and there's another syringe. And there's another part where you can get, like, a, you can open a drawer or whatever. Hoffman, so if you guys are low on medical syringes, make sure to go in there and grab it if you need it. Here you're just gonna hold square, skip this, and then hold circle as well. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area. So here I'm using the it doesn't sound like him. the cover while sprinting, so our stamina doesn't you know drain as we run here. And there's also going to be a shotgun pouch here as well. You can hold more ammo. Thankfully, the game lets you actually get pouches in classic. Here you're just gonna grab a pipe here. Looks like they had extra security. And there's for this place. also gonna be shotgun ammo as well. Oh, suddenly we're Resident Evil now. Just for a second though. And that's like the All cleanest part in the game as well. Besides the blood, this about? it's actually like the cleanest part in the game. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go up here and you're gonna go left here. You trigger that, and there's also a key we can get here as well. There we go. Also equip the electric bolts here. Ships. You're gonna Gotta use it for that. Here We're not doing the side quest here, don't worry. I don't think you can We're out doing the other ones, but the nail in here, so you're gonna get that. Um we're gonna go over here. And basically what you wanna do here is you just wanna run up and spam A. As a guy's gonna jump through the window here. And you'll just automat you'll just auto uh, melee kill him, so stealth kill him. Just get rid of him really quickly. 
treatment here. There's a uh, condenser. There's also health in here. Need the, uh, the medical syringe. Now we gotta go get the uh, the microchip so we can open the door. We need to go into a morgue here. Okay, so there's a code we need to put in here, which is at 0128. What do we have here? Okay. Puzzle master. Happens. Speed run confirmed. Okay, so here, don't forget to grab the chip here. Oh, thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. So, so this part coming up seems a bit scary, but it's really easy to pass through as well. The scary part here is the, the screeching thing. Uh, but the great thing about it is you can actually bait it away from you. Like, that screeching thing will kind of go... Uh, where it thinks you're about to go, so you can actually bait it away from you. Um, so I'm using the wall here, just so my stamina doesn't drain all the way. So here, we're gonna go around here, we're gonna go into, we're gonna go to the left here. And we're gonna go like halfway here, in the middle of this room, and then we're gonna go back. Because the screeching thing think, is gonna think you're gonna go that way. But if you go back here, it's gonna attract it to go to go the other way because it thinks you're going that way. So basically you're just baiting it away. And at this point you wanna to crouch to get here. You know, sometimes those two lost there will jump up and then go for you. If they do, just use the smoke bolts and just wait it out. About time. So if you don't get alerted. Wait until Sebastian says about time, and then just run to the door. Alright, so we'll coming up here now is the O'Neill fight. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing for this fight is you're going to be using electric bolts, and then you're going to be using um, you know, the shotgun, you're going to be shooting three times in the head, and then you're going to quick switch to the sniper and shoot him once with the sniper. And basically, you're just gonna rinse repeat until the first phase is done. Oh, voices. Um, another thing I recommend you do is use uh, three or four explosive bolts as well during phase two. So, electric bolts, shoot them in the head three times. Switch to the sniper, shoot them in the head. Switch to the. Too hot in here. Switch to the bow to uh, reload, reload, reload the shotgun as well. Okay, hit the flame. Shot. Three headshots. Switch to the sniper. Rinse repeat. Reload. Make sure you don't get hit by that. Again, stun them. Three headshots. Quick switch. And at this point, I rec what I recommend you guys do here is that uh, stun them with the electric bolt and then shoot the lever, which will, uh, you know, put the flames away. Because uh, you might get trapped here and then he might just instant kill you. So, yeah, just, just use the electric bolt to stun him. Do that. Grab the shotgun ammo. And then just go up here and then switch to the explosive bolts. And then use about four explosive bolts here. here. He commands that I take care of you. you Go. Change, like me. I'm not weak anymore, Sebastian. Yeah, just put all these bullets in for him. Ouchie.
So yeah, I'm just full heating here just to make sure he doesn't kill me. But here, this should finish him off now. Uh, just one more stun. And then just do the three shotgun bullet and then sniper. Yes, Father Theodore. And if he does run away like that, just run up to him. There's no way he's gonna get you if you're just gonna quickly just, you know, shock him with the drop ball. Go. There's the finish. It really is a simple fight. Uh, you know, if you remember to... I'd say, I'd say the most thing that'll get you killed here if you forget to reload. That's That's gotten me a kill killed a few times so as long as you remember to reload the electric bolt and the shotgun you're good so you really is a simple fight of course. because the electric bolt stuns them for so long another thing you do here getting past you getting through this part quicker is to uh theater wants use the uh the cover here you saw what he did to O'Neill. if you He'll point the camera upwards there a little bit to. He'll tear uh, this place apart to get his hands on her. While you're crouched, I'm pretty sure it actually makes you be able to use the cover from a greater distance as well. Pretty nice. Because you can't run at those segments, so. And now we're coming up to the, the bottomless pit sections. I'm not which are totally really sure, easy to do. But it looks a hell of a lot like. When you force them, they probably look a bit intimidating. Whatever it is. But they really are easy to pass, to pass through. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian. Have you finished? I have. Good. Got it. Yeah, these are all unskippable. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. There's a key here behind this, so make sure to get that. We won't be using our next keys until chapter something. 13, I think. Like, and it's which is not even far away, so. I'm going to check out the now we're just starting the, the next main mission. Good luck, you two. This, this first part is unskippable, so at this point, just just hold circle now okay, until the, the cutscene will pop up. Kick ass happening in three, two, one. And it's so funny that they're standing so close to it when they're trying to blow it up or whatever. Are you I don't okay, get why they're doing that. <laughs> Taurus? Where'd you? Yeah, skip that cutscene. Now, we're in the bottomless pit. And first, you want to run slightly to the left here where I'm running to. And there's going to be like, I think, gunpowder and shotgun ammo. The one thing you want to do is make sure. Um, you have enough stamina because you're gonna oh grab the shotgun Lily? and gunpowder here. You're here. And then you're gonna run up to this guy that's gonna pop up here. If you're quick enough, you'll be able to stealth kill him immediately. So, so just run up to him and spam A, and you'll just be able to stealth kill him. He drops an axe, so now you wanna run up, just follow where I'm running to here. There's actually a, a handgun pouch here you can grab. And there's also gonna be one of these really, uh, Big fat guys, or whatever that blow up. Um, if you use a smoke bolt on them, that makes them blow up immediately where they're standing. So, wow, those missed shots. <laughs> so here we're just gonna equip the smoke bolts. Gonna stealth kill this guy here and then just use the smoke bolt from the big guy coming up. So, yeah, make sure you don't shoot the smoke bolt directly on the big guy because I've seen them just like fling off them and they're just not there anymore. You just like fling off the Africa or something. So yeah, that, ju that just makes them explode immediately, which is pretty nice. Makes this part so much easier. Yeah, we actually got alerted up there, but it doesn't matter. You can just run through this part. Yeah, we're just grabbing this gunpowder here. So we're gonna get as much as gunpowder as possible. 
We're just sprinting through this now. Doesn't matter if they're alerted or not because this is like a script thing here. Once you run here, it just triggers the, them all to despawn or stop running for you or whatever. So now this is the coming up as the final part of this bottomless pit, which has a couple of haunted or a couple of lost and there's a couple of the, the demon dogs as well. Um which will be actually very easy to pass by. If you if you follow what I do, you'll never have a problem with it. No. But we're going to be sprinting up here slightly right. to the left, and there's going to be shotgun ammo here for us. There's also going to be a lost here. Um, make sure you're not sprinting the entire time because they'll hear you. So we're sprinting up here. You can see some uh, shotgun ammo in the distance here. So once we get to about there, we're not sprinting anymore because we just want to go here and grab that. There's, also, there's a syringe here as well. Let me get that. And then you just want to shoot with the handgun, shoot that demon dog, and just run. He shouldn't be able to hit you. But even if he does hit you, it doesn't matter. Because that's actually, that's actually you can use that to your advantage, because then you can use a, a heal. And when you heal, that also regens your stamina as you sprint, so that's actually helping you out. If it does hit you. And you can see one of them demon dogs there as well. Make sure you get the two herbs here as well. Um, and once you get to these, like, near these stairs, they'll, I'm pretty sure they all stop just attacking you. Um, before we go to these stairs, we're gonna go here, because you can get, uh, 10 gunpowder here. Definitely don't forget to grab them. That's the bottomless pit done. Very easy. Force dialogue here that you can't skip. This is, this, is a, this is actually a big part that you just can't skip now. Um, I do. A lot of just cutscenes and not much gameplay here. This is like the biggest downtime of the game as well, I'd say. Lily, is it really you? Yeah, these, all these Come here are just on, unskippable. Get you out of here. Gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Myra? Torres. Where? Uh, here. We have a, uh, just the forest walking segment here. We just have to, uh, slowly, methodically, just walk to, uh, the kitchen here. It's gonna be a picture that we're gonna select, pick it up. Really? That's gonna activate a cutscene, which will, you know, progress the game. Huh? That letter. Yeah, we're gonna have to select it here and then My go around. Pretty sure you can't select it from that from that files. distance or that position. So you need to actually go around time. to uh like you need to select it and then you need to select it again, so. So you wanna press B here and then hold down B. She's right. Because you need to, you know She's always been right. 
skip the, the reading of the, the dialogue and then a cutscene will pop up so but guilt for what it's their fault not mine they took everything from me i didn't start any of this but i'm gonna finish it see so yeah, i'll just let this cutscene play out here stands in my way and i'll uh, start talking once we get gameplay again been talking for like you know two hours <sighs> over two hours straight here so what i'll give my voice a little bit of a break here What happened? She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I tried to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Again. No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this, not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. That's the problem. What do you mean? I picked the Theodore, but it's. Shh. I think that I found. Great. It's not. Okay. I'll go check. It. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. Welcome back, guys. So, got some gameplay here again. Now this is chapter thirteen. We're in the. I'm sorry, as We're back in the post plus area from you I'll know chapter sure six you and seven. Nothing. I'm now we're on the way to the, like the, the hotel, games. which will lead into the, the far walk. Which you probably could say is one of the hardest parts in the game, but at the same time it is pretty easy as well. Because most of the enemy spawns are predictable, they're usually the same. Uh, yeah, there's a condenser here, you want to make sure to grab that. for the loading to go by here. So here's some gunpowder, some items here as well. Definitely don't forget the nails. Pull on heels. So, um, so our next save is not until after the firewalk, but if you guys are worried about the firewalk, I'd recommend you save in the hotel before we go to the firewalk, because, like, I'm going to save right after the firewalk, because if, if I were to die, I, I don't want to do the firewalk again, honestly. What's going on in there So you don't really need to uh, you don't really need to go up here but there is a, a pipe up here so here I'm going this way because uh there's a bunch of uh there's a bunch of lost here but also on the ground there's a nail I really want to get there's also a herb in that bush as well which you know, we have more than enough herbs. We've nearly like 40 herbs at this point. But yeah, once you go behind them here, they trigger to like move or whatever. Not 
that's why I'm doing this. If you guys want to be super safe, you can just avoid that nail if you want and just run. And just go to the hotel. But I'm just doing this slowly here. And... One thing about the Harbingers as well, they're really easy to avoid. You can you can lose track of them very easily. So here we're just slowly getting around here so they don't see us. If you look closely there, you can see one of them teleporting there. They were like teleporting into their their kneading position or whatever. So That's pretty weird. So here we're gonna use a um, a smoke bolt coming up. When he is a smoke bolt here, just so these guys aren't chasing me, because we'll have actual stamina so we can run. I really do not want those chasing me because our stamina will be like really low the whole time when we're running here. So that's why I, I do this. Another key you can get here as well. These are the, the last of the keys that we're getting. We don't need any more. Then you go in here, and then uh, the cutscene's gonna pop up. You're just gonna hold circle to skip it all. You get a phone call, you skip that, just hold circle, up. and then cutscene, skip the dialogue. Well, here it is. What is it? Support. It creates house. It's circ big enough. That's the last thing. Yeah, coming up is the so far walk. Who's gonna help? You know, of course. It's just like you, you know. Are you ready, Sebastian? Probably one of the scariest parts, but it's pretty easy okay. at the same time as well, because you can't really tell like you know which are coming next and all that most of the time. Here I'm going over to this drawer to see if we can get anything. There's also two fuses you can get from this as well. If you really want to get more electric bolts, definitely get the fuses. And now we're going to use the the last five keys that we have here. Was that door there? And we're before? also going to buy yeah, a bunch of like shotgun ammo and all that. We've got to stop meeting like this, detective. Open these lockers. There we go. Herbs. 12 herbs. Look at that. We have 50 herbs. Wow. We're not even going to use half of that, I'm pretty sure. Three hundred gunpowder as well, which is a lot. Okay. Pretty much done here now. Let's grab some uh, ammo as well from the workshop. Make sure you buy all the all the stuff that you need here as well. All the freeze bolts. Yeah, freeze bolts are really important for the parts coming up, so make sure you save most of them. Um like once they with with the firewalk, make sure you leave at least three freeze bolts. Um after the firewalk is done, you know. Because that'll make the the parts coming up after that really simple then. We bought a bunch of stuff there and that'll sort us out. So basically our main strat for this for a walk is gonna be like you know you using freeze balls when right, two okay. of the, the flame guys spawn together. Um using two shotgun bullets will kill them. As well as if you shoot them once with the shotgun and then switch the handgun, two handgun bullets will finish them I'll off. So operate it from here. It's your so that's like the, fire, but it won't you know, the main way we're going to attack them, us. as well as we're going to try and worry, predict where they're going to spawn. Which, the start I know off by heart, nothing. but after like halfway, it, it's completely blank to me. But uh, the first one is going to spawn, spawn right in front of us, and then two are going to spawn right behind it's me. Working. And after that, two of them are going to spawn together. We're going to use a freeze ball from on. them. 
I can't see anything through these right planes. You can see this one. I've got the spawner in front of us here. Then follow me. I don't know. And I'm basically just gonna use the handgun to kill him. I think I think it takes four or five handgun bullets to shoot them. I got him! There's more ammo in my pouch. Take Obviously if you get headshots, it's a lot quicker. So the next one is gonna spawn right here. I'm gonna shoot that. Good thing. They're everywhere. Another one's gonna spawn as well. Around the same area. There we go. Now after we kill that one, two of them are gonna spawn them from this side now together. Oh well, actually, you know what? I actually totally forgot this is classic. I don't know why, but in classic mode, less of them actually spawn the nightmare. It's kind of strange. Why is the highest difficulty in the game? Or why does the you know the highest difficulty in the game have less enemies in this part than Nightmare? He wants to keep us but out. if you were playing Nightmare, Good. there'll be two of that those flame guys afraid. there. Which is pretty weird. So this part's actually easier in Classic than in Nightmare. But uh... That's, that's why I was saying that, you know, I knew two of them were going to spawn together because I'm so used to it. I've done Nightmare way too much. You know, I've only done classic a few times, so. Don't stop now. We're almost there. Hold on. Here. We're just using a handgun here. Can you fix it? I'm working on it. Watch my back. Yeah, shotgun. Switch to the handgun. Two shots. So yeah, definitely be aware that you might miss, you know. You know, you might miss a shot or whatever, so... That was close. I told you it was temperamental! Yeah, one thing to remember is the the cases and all that. There's a bunch of items that the game does give you. Plus, remember to, to look around for the gunpowder that the enemies drop. This case will give you a freeze bolt and a uh, electric bolt. Well, as I said, make sure you leave three you freeze bolts yet? left. Because it'll make the next parts after the fire walk really easy. Um, and once you, you know, once you use up all the freeze bolts that you, you know, that, that you can use, just use electric bolts from then on. And then just, you know. Yeah, if you do see two of them come here, why just sit there was, you know. Shot one of the shotguns, shot the other one with the shotgun, and then shot the other one to finish him off. And then reload. Run away from him and reload, and then just finish him off. Yeah, like... I, I actually haven't taken the time to memorize this part. Because, uh, like, it is pretty straightforward. You just need to be fully aware of what's going on. You know, be ready to use, like, an electric bolt, you know. If you feel like it's getting a bit stressful, you know, just immediately use an electric bolt, like I am right now. Gunpowder. I want it all. Very nice. That's pretty much done. Yeah, the firewalk is definitely easier in classic than uh, Nightmare. Which is, I don't know, a big relief, honestly. You would think I'm it'd be sorry, a lot difficult, but there is less enemies I'll for some reason. Pay. I promise. You wouldn't think they would, you know, have pity for us. The highest difficulty. After all of this. There, I'm just using the, the cover. So we can speed up this part because you can't sprint straight away.
Okay, so... Coming up to making our next save here. You know... Obviously, if you chose to save before the firewalk, don't save Ram here. Uh, will be... But this time it's different. You're not be, uh, I would have saved then, if you made an extra save. Got these items, there's a bunch of stuff here as well. Here to make another freeze bolt, yeah. Hey, okay, let's make our next save. Four saves remaining, so three left now, which is more than enough at this point. More than enough. There we go. So now coming up is uh, an area filled with uh, the, f the fiery guys. Plus there's a uh, harbinger as well. But if you follow what I do, it's really straightforward. We're gonna we're just gonna be abusing the freeze balls for this, which make that part this part so much easier. You know, because you just freeze them and then shoot them with a handgun and just kills them, gets them out of the way. And it mostly also it. does not alert the you're area as well, which me. is really nice. You think it would because you're shooting, the gun is loud. For some reason it doesn't uh, track the whole area. Some, some of them do hear it, but that's it. You know, they don't know what's going on. That guy right in front of us there. Um, but when this part begins, usually you could sprint, but that guy will hear you, so... so... If you want to be really careful, I recommend you just slowly walk here. And get the freeze bolt ready, because you're going to use the freeze bolt in this guy over here. Get rid of him. Make sure to reload the freeze bolt here. Get ready for this guy as well. We're gonna get rid of him as well. Now at this point, you wanna get the you wanna switch to the electric balls, that's what you're gonna be using now. And you're gonna run straight up here, there's gonna be one of them flame guys. Um now make sure you run around the right side of them, not the left side, because you can bump into them. And basically, you might die. Very high chance. And as you can see here, it's the Harbinger. But yeah, make sure you use an electric bolt here. That guy there will usually all he he will always go for you. Like he will always run for you. Make sure one hundred percent of the time using an electric bolts, because then he won't be able to get you. That's that section done. Everyone want to control Union. It's not even real. Union is better than we have. Union is more than us. Their minds are connected to it. To control Union is to control them. To control them is to control the world. If you think I'm gonna help an asshole like you, right. take so over let's grab this pipe here. Like in case we might need a, an extra harpoon ball or something in the future. We won't. Well, you know, it's a guide after all. Emergencies. So, coming up here is one of the, you know, probably scary parts of the old boy. Pretty easy as well. Go in here. That nail. Plus, is a heal. Gunpowder. And for this part coming up, there's gonna be like a lever. Plus, a lost. A flame guy and a harbinger. But 
best way is for you guys to just follow exactly where I run to. And um just use a freeze ball. So just follow exactly where I run to. And just use a freeze ball here. And then you just wanna run up here. Get a yeah, shoot this. And then switch to the your bolt, get the electric bolt ready. And just set it down anywhere here, just in case they come after you, which is very unlikely. I'm pretty sure I've yet to have any of them follow me here. I don't recall any of them following me here at this point. So coming up here, there's three of the demon dogs. And we're going to do a certain strat here to make this part easy. So we're going to use the lever here, one's going to spawn. And uh, we're going to use an electric bolt here, because that actually attracts one of them here. So we're gonna use that here. And you'll notice they use that and it attracted it here. So once you see this move like that, there's a little twitch or whatever, you wanna use that. So you wanna shoot the, the dog twice. So I think two shotgun bullets and one or two handgun bullets will kill them automatically. That's what I'm doing right here. There we go. And they're all dead. That's how I, I tackle them. Makes it a lot easier. I'm going back around here to get the other electric bolt here in case we might need it. Now we're coming up to one of the best parts of the game. I love this section. We'll be running to the Sadas. We'll be fighting the Keeper three times. And we need to lower it as well. I'm not making any deals with you, friend. So Yeah, I'll explain uh, what we're gonna do. I'll explain what we're gonna do for the you know the keeper fight and all that as we just as we get there. Just shut up. I kill you first. What makes you think this time will be any different? I'll keep coming back until one of us is dead. Come to me then. There's a harpoon bolt here you can grab. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna be using the harpoon bolts for near the end of the game for the last like couple of sections. Gunpowder and there's also a fuse here, I believe. Yeah. Fuse. Make sure you have the Orton crossbow here equipped, plus the electric ball. That's what we're going to be using once we uh, fight the, the keeper. So, this part's just straightforward. You just gotta sprint away. The status, the game just suddenly gives us infinite stamina. Thanks, game. Why can't you just give us infinite stamina during when we're in actual gameplay when we need it the most? Yeah, coming up here, we're just gonna pick up the chainsaw, walk forward, then you're gonna press A, and then you're just gonna spam A because it's the yeah, this will stop you know, me. The QTE section. Pretty much impossible to die here unless you let go of the controller. So let's see. So while Sebastian is going nuclear here, I'll explain uh, what we're going to do for the Keeper fight here. So, once the fight begins here, uh, you know, we'll be fighting one Keeper, and once you kill the Keeper, then two Keepers will spawn. 
Um, so for the first keeper, once the fight begins, we're immediately going to use an electric bolt. The electric bolts stun the keeper for like 10, 15 seconds. Like they stun them for so long, so they're really useful. So we're going to immediately use that electric bolts. Then you're going to quick switch to the shotgun, shoot it three times. Then uh, quick switch to the rifle, use one rifle shot. And then um, use one uh, explosive bolt as well. No, that won't actually finish it off. But, there we go. Use that. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Grab the shotgun ammo here. Alright, that one doesn't actually kill it. But, like, I think, like, the next hit will. But the reason I don't kill it yet is because... We want to grab all the items here. There's a bunch of items we can scavenge around here. So we're gonna grab them all. You know, while the keepers chasing us, because uh, we don't want to grab these while the the double keepers are coming after us. That's way too risky. Here, finish them off with the sniper. Got the ammo here. So one thing you gotta do here is you're gonna equip the electric bolt here, and you're gonna hide in this little corner here. And once they once when you, once you see the keepers coming up to attack you here, you're gonna use the electric bolt when it's about to attack you, and that should stun the uh, both of them. Now usually they they'll be together here, but we didn't get them together. So basically that's that's the idea. You want to get them together here just to make it a lot easier. It might take a bit of time, but you should be able to do it. So I'm trying really hard here to get them together. That's, that's good enough there. So now you're just going to spam explosive balls until, until they die. I think it takes like 5 maybe, I'm not sure. 4. There you go. Yeah, there we go. We use like 4 and then, yeah, one sniper. One sniper shot each. Now we have Laura. So we need the two, uh. If it is, we need to turn two valves to activate the flame to kill her. Which is very easy to do. She's actually really easy to get around. She, you know, she does have her same attacks from the first game, but she very rarely will ever use the one hit kill. So here I'm just forcing her to try and do her melee attack. We're gonna put an electric bolt around there. Because the electric bolt has a big range, so we don't want the, the electric bolt to hit her as soon as possible. Just turn that. There, we're just going up here. The electric bolt down there, just in case you might get us. Now when you turn this valve, it's going to activate the flame in the middle of the room, which you're going to use to uh, finish her off. So we need to use it twice to kill her. We're going to do that in a certain way to do it as quickly as possible. So we're going to run here, bait her out. Let's run past her here. She won't, she won't kill you. So yeah, just use that as soon as possible. Now, we want to use the electric ball. Because it's going to stun her. Because she'll just immediately teleport, so this will uh I'll just finish her out then. If for some reason that doesn't work, just just run back up to where she is. You know, just to bait her bait her out again. And then just uh, you know, do it again. Very easy. That is chapter 14 done now. And we're coming up to the final sections of the game. Got a bit of running to do here as well. Oh God, there's almost nothing left of this place. What are you trying to do, Myra?
damn it. Myra. Okay. Where so you go. I'm gonna be uh like gunpowder and a herb here. Man, I got all the herbs. We have sixty herbs at this point, like wow. What is this? Man. Myra! Shit. What is she trying I think to it's do? safe to say at this point, you know, we're good. <laughs> we are good. Grab this hanging ammo, fuse. And here we're gonna make our our uh, second last save. Huh? Was that door there before? Okay, we're gonna buy buy some stuff here. And get all these explosive bolts. Get some electric bolts. Make a save. Okay, let's continue on. This section coming up here. So these guys are a pain in the ass, but they're very easy to kill as well. But they're really like just the normal mobs here that you have to fight. I, I don't know what to call it, but also I got stuck here for a second. Watch this. Oh no, we're glitched. Oh no. Oh no, we're glitched. Nope. Climb up. <laughs> anyway, so this part coming up here. Basically, you're gonna utilize the shotgun and harpoon bolts. Basically, just like in the cabin fight that we did earlier, you're just gonna use the shotgun to knock them over. And the harpoon ball to shoot them in the, the chest or the stomach to knock them Myra. over. And just uh, stomp on them as well. And that'll finish them off. But the problem with these guys is they're really freaking fast. Um, so if you're quick enough here, you can go out of the cover here quick enough and sprint. You can actually get a free stealth kill on the first guy here. So you sprint up, Maybe then I can go behind him, but I think I missed this actually. Yeah. You need to really find me. You could actually see the, the prompts to stealth kill, but I wasn't quick enough to press it. Even though I was spamming A at that, at that point. But this wasn't enough. But it doesn't matter. Nope. That's three of them done. There's four in this part. There's a couple of more in the next part as well. Wow. I'm surprised that, that hit there just missed. Like, that looked, that looked directly like it got it. Like it actually hit him, but apparently it didn't. And yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff you can get here. I hope she has Nail. Far. Explosive bolts are really good for uh, the final boss fight with Moira. Really good. They make the fight so much easier. Also, let's pick up these herbs because we need them, right? Man. Thank god we picked up, up those herbs. I was, so was, I was worried at this point, you know? We only had 60 at that point, but man. I feel so much more safe having 62 of them. No way we're going to have a problem now. So yeah. Once again, same thing we're going to do here. Myra, stop! Yeah, you can get a free stealth kill on this first uh, guy as well here. This this part's kind of weird. Like in, most of the time, I won't get the stealth kill, but somehow, even though we like climbed up here, I still got the stealth kill. I have no idea how we got that. Because usually when I, you know, when I run up to it straight away, I I just won't get the stealth kill. Maybe it's because I'm sprinting and like you know it's alerting them or whatever. But yeah. I have no idea. This, this part's weird. You can harpoon those guys in the head as well. Shoot him, knock him over, stomp, 
Uh, there is one more left. And coming up after this now is uh, a mini boss, which is probably one of the most pain in the asses in the game. But it's it's a really easy fight as well. It really is. Like once once you just learn its attacks and all that, you know, you know what it's gonna do. It's really easy then. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is um, so make sure you have the smoke bolts ready to use with the work crossbow. Have the sniper equipped straight away. So for the start of the fight, you're going to use two sniper shots. That's going to stun them if you do get the both shots off. Sometimes you might miss the shot. It's very easy to miss shots with the sniper. But yeah, you're going to do two shots. Quick switch to the handgun. Shoot twice with the handgun. And then run to the right. So do that. Two shots. It's a matter where you shoot it. Just go there. Now just use a small bolt when it turns around. I'm gonna shot with the sniper. No, I actually think that, miss, that shot missed. I'm not sure though. I couldn't really tell with the smoke bolt in the way. Yeah, I just went up here, go behind the barrel. And just shoot it. Once it gets close. See, so yeah, when it does that attack, you want to just uh, run to the left there. So now the boss is going to die here. So, yeah. That's how simple this fight can be. Like, all, all this fight is is just knowing it's attacking and how to avoid its attacks. You know, the most dangerous attack is that boss does is the charge attack. Um, which you can avoid by just running to the left or... Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can avoid it by just running away from it as well, like directly away from it, but I would say the most consistent way probably is to just run to the left or so. Or probably just use a smoke bolt, because I'm pretty sure if, if it runs into the smoke bolt it just stuns it then. But uh pretty sure if you try to mimic what, what we just did there, you should get the same results. So, anyway... We're coming up to the final boss of the game now. Can't let her take Lily. And this this part reminds me of Dark Souls Three. Yeah, the, uh, the final DLC, the end of the world. She must be there. I can't stop now. Okay, last two chapters. It's kind of weird. They gave an entire chapter for the final part of the game. Man. You know, there's a chapter dedicated to Kidman's, like, potato aim simulator segments, you know? A bit ridiculous. Like, a lot of the chapters in this game are really short. Like, they could have combined so many of the chapters together. And uh, the game probably would have been cut down to like maybe 12, 13 chapters or something. But I guess they just wanted to, you know... They just wanted to make the game look lengthy with having so many chapters. So now we're uh, going up to, the, to our room here. A bunch of items here. We can also go to our workshop, so we're not using so many, uh, so much gunpowder. There's also a nail here, so. Just a key, sleeping. It's a good idea to go here, so you can buy all the, uh, the rifle ammo as well. Rifle ammo is pretty expensive, so. The rifle ammo is really good for this final fight, so. So here we're making our final save now. The finale of the game. Okay, let's do it. So, so this fight has a couple of phases. Uh, the first phase, you know, her weak spot, her stomach is going to be blocked up. Um, we're going to be starting off by shooting it with the harpoon bolts. Because, um... 
basically, like, I like to, I, just, I, I like to use the harpoon bolt because, you know, it's the least amount of ammo. And basically we'll have, you know, so much ammo then to use for the rest of the fight. Because the boss has multiple phases, so. So in terms of classic, I think it's best to use the harpoon balls to start off and just avoid her attacks because they're very, very predictable, so. So we'll be starting off the harpoon balls. Um, and then we'll be using some uh, some of the explosive balls, but I recommend you guys save like two or three of the explosive balls when she goes into the, into the phase where the weak spots are on her shoulder. That'll make the explosive balls will make the that part a lot easier. My God. You hurt me. You hurt her. Here, I'm just getting ready. I won't let you. God damn it! You just want to wait until this shines up. Think about what you're doing. Here we go. That shot probably missed. <laughs> Here we go. I, I don't want to do this to you. No weak spots opened, and we're gonna use the both of that next. Pretty sure. You want to watch out for attacks here. I think it only takes uh, two uh, explosive balls at this point, actually. There we go. Yeah, two explosive balls at the right spot. Well, uh, that. And that's where it upgrades, like, that's crazy. So, yeah, once the sporter spawn, you just want to run up to them and spam A. So, you'll just stomp on them all. And now the weak spots are coming up. So it doesn't matter which one which one you shoot. If you guys want to go for the right one for us, that's totally fine as well. I just like to go for the left first and then shoot the right. See, so yeah, I'm trying to shoot the yeah, the shoulder as possible. I screwed up a little bit there. Go. There is that phase done. So this part here looks a bit scary. I'm gonna shoot the weak spot here, but it's actually really easy. The secret to this part is just shooting the edge of the weak spot. You know, because you kind of think you want to shoot in the middle of it. But just look where I'm aiming here. I want to aim to the corner of the weak spot. You know, kind of like the edge or whatever. It makes that part so much easier. So now here comes the second last phase. We gotta shoot through the weak spot here in the back. And then the weak spot in our face will come up then. Of course. Yeah, sometimes these spiders won't be spawned at this point, so they are. Just get rid of them, because nothing will happen here really. At this point, the tentacle just attacks for a couple of seconds. And then, um. Boss gonna do a couple of things here. If you, if you have explosive balls at this point, make sure you use them here. If you don't, just use the, the sniper. So yeah, once the, once the boss is this with all the arms, just walk to the side like this, slowly. And by the time you get to the left side then, it'll be fine to just uh, go back. And once that's over, make sure you run to the corner here. because. The boss will always do this attack then. Like, it's always in the same pattern here. So, I think it does three waves here, and then it does like a big attack here. So, once it does that, go over here, and then bait out this attack here. But try not get hit like I just did. There, I'm just waiting for it to do that. The secret to this part is just baiting out her attack. Because when she does that, you know, her weak spot is open for an attack, so that's pretty much the secret to this. It makes it really simple then. We 
you actually missed. <laughs> so yeah, if she summons those nests and you miss or whatever, make sure you get rid of them them eggs straight away. You don't want them spoilers on you at this point. Here we go. That's that phase done. So now you need to, uh, I'm pretty sure it only takes like two sniper shots now. To finish her off at this point for the last phase. So you just gotta wait for the weak spot to shine up or whatever. Uh, I didn't even get a shot off there. Not sure what that was, but usually I would shoot at that point where we didn't. Okay, I'm just uh, avoiding the attack. Just to make sure we don't get hit. That's it. One of us done. Yeah, a lot of that fight was um, explosive bolts, but if you're, if you're really low on explosive bolts, just just utilize her, you know, her melee attack where she, you know, attacks with the arm and then her weak spot is open. That's all you gotta do. Um, but make sure when you're trying to aim at the weak spot, you're kind of going for the corner or the edge of her weak spot because you're most likely gonna miss. I, I, I've been struggling with that so much, but if you kind of aim sort of to the edge, you'll, uh, You'll most likely hit the weak spot then. So coming up here is the uh, the Kidman fight or the Kidman Tate Wayne Simulator part. Oh, this part is just I don't think there's like a way to explain this part. Just shoot them. Um, I like to kill that force guy in the front there, and then the guy behind them, and the guy to the right, and then the guy to the middle. That's the order I do. Sometimes they change it up depending. But this this part's just annoying because the force like the, the force like three clan ever on you. But, but yeah, once you kill Moira, this you've already beat classic punish. Like is it even possible to die at this part? Like honestly. <laughs> like you literally need to be just standing there the whole time getting here to die at this part. So at this point, really? in Sebastian, you're just gonna sprint to uh, Lily's room here. And we're gonna play as Kidman again. We have another shooting segment, which is even easier to do than the last one. Warning, warning, alpha so one here, warning, alpha one now you guys are probably way better aims than I am, so I'm just trying to spam shots, get as many shots in as possible. But if you guys can go for headshots, you know, definitely go for it. Yeah, you, you can't shoot these guys when, when they're in the corner now. If you aim at the right spot there, you can shoot them in the leg there in the back. But keep that in mind. Oh, finish off this guy. As you can see, we could shoot him while he's behind cover there. So he should be uh, finished off here. There we go. Gotta get to the stem room. Just need to make it downstairs. And now. We just have uh, the last part, which is running with Sebastian, and yeah, you can't die at that part. I've tried. I've actually like intentionally tried to die there, but it's just not possible. You know, it kind of reminds me of the. Uh... Yeah, this part kind of reminds me of the the cabin, or sorry, the the jet ski from Resident Evil 4 at the end. Go? That's what this part reminds me of, you know, but All right. you're invincible, you can't die. No one can crush you or anything, so it's a bit unfortunate. But um, if you guys have made it to this part of the game, congratulations, you know, you've beat classic mode. Unless you get a really unfortunate error or something, which then, you know, I don't know. <laughs> You know, you just just tell fucking Don't Tango worry. Games work to go fuck themselves or something, you know. But they did make a patch out, so you should be good. Oh my god! But um, yeah, as the video's coming to a close here, if you're watching up to this point. I would like to thank you for watching. If you watched the entire video, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my guides. I hope this uh, helped you guys out, made it a lot easier with the strats, you know seemed easy for you guys to do because it seemed easy for me in any way you know i never i never feel like i'm struggling struggling with them or you know that kind of thing so 
So, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And, um, I'll see you guys in the live streams. <laughs>